Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is one I'm very excited about. Um, so today's pick a card is one of my dreams trying to tell me. So this was like the top voted um, on my poll. That is another one that was like very, very close. And I don't know by the end of when I film this if that one's gonna win too. Um, and I think it was the one about um, optimal like timelines and you know, what's going on? What was my soul doing another timelines and things like that but um i kind of consider those to a tie so i will be doing that one soon as well because i feel like they both kind of won they were very close but today we're taking a look at what my dreams are trying to tell me so i'm gonna keep it really open because i've literally never done a reading like this before and i'm basically going to be tapping into your subconscious your um the collective of your higher selves and i'm going to be taking a look at why you're having certain dreams what they're trying to tell you what's trying to come through in your dreams what messages are trying to come through in your dreams that you are seeing maybe that you're not seeing um because there's a lot of different types of dreams that we can have obviously there's lucid dreaming but there's also dreams where our subconscious is trying to show us um what is going on in our energetic makeup what is going on in our energy and we'll usually have a lot of cryptic dreams and cryptic symbolism when that happens whereas other dreams we can have literal guidance and messages channeled from the divine of visitation from spirit there's so many different types um and i really want to get into it and see what comes through i'm really excited so we have four pairs for you guys to choose from pair number one is the amber crystal Pile number two is the whale soapstone. Pile number three is the amethyst apple. And pile number four is the green aventurine. So see which crystal you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So today we are taking a look at why you're having specific dreams and what they're trying to tell you. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Now, before I get into the read, well, it's part of the reading. I don't know why I'm saying before I get in. As I opened up to your energy, I don't know why I was just shown fish, like, swimming around. So I don't know if you've been seeing a lot of, like, fish um, in your dreams or, like, sea creatures or anything to do with the water, the ocean. I don't know why I'm being shown tadpoles now and things like that. I'm literally being shown Nemo. <laughs> but, like, I just keep being shown the element of water. And it's funny that that's what I'm picking up as I'm tapping into you. And you also chose the amber crystal, which connects us to our sacral chakra, which the element is water. Um... And that's something that's come through very, very strongly. So with that being said, I feel like a lot of your dreams at the moment, pile number one, before I even get into it, they're very tied to your emotional state in the waking life. I have said a lot of times we have four bodies. We have the physical body, the emotional body, the spiritual body, the soul, and then the mental body. And I feel like a lot of your dreams right now are connected to your emotional body and what's going on um, in regards to your um, emotions. Because I'm being told that there's almost like a clearing out happening of your emotional body right now. I sense that you are, to be honest, it feels like you may very recently as well have been purging in your sleep, um, purging a lot of hidden emotion. And you know what it is? You know, like when... Um, you are let's just say cleaning out um a garden right and you clear out the top and you clear out all the stuff at the top and you trim and then as you start to get down to the root it's harder to pull it's harder to pull that root up and you see stuff at the bottom of the garden that you didn't even realize was there i feel like you've done a lot of work on like your inner child or just your inner world on your shadow self but i'm being told that what's actually happening in your energetic like makeup right now is that you know like the nitty gritty right at the bottom where it's like you're, you're really pulling up those roots and you're finding these things that have been there for years you didn't know that they were there you're like oh my god um there's something like that happening like pieces that were so cemented into your being you didn't even realize that 
they could even be transmuted or shifted i feel like that's what's happening for you right now um and that's what's coming up for release in your emotional body and it's very very like heavy and i feel like when you're sleeping that's what's being filtered out and i feel like your dreams are correlating to parts of your subconscious that are releasing and it's not even a case of like oh i need to go and write down and do all the shadow work you're you're already energetically doing it and i'm being told that when you're waking up in the morning you're feeling like you either haven't slept or that you ate heavy the night before and that your body was processing it when you went to sleep which wasn't even the case it is literally that your body is processing but it's not the physical body processing when you're going to sleep it's the emotional body so when you're waking up you're feeling really really fatigued um or like maybe you can't wake up and you're sleeping past the lambs and it's because these deep 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 emotions are coming up to the surface and i feel like there's a i'm being told you're having a lot of cryptic symbolism and things in your dreams and they may not even make sense you're like I literally saw a bear chasing me with a mushroom. I don't know, like the weirdest things I feel are happening, but like even just these little symbols, I would say to write them down, whether it's just like something really stupid, like I saw sweet corn in my dream because it, I'm being told like all these little things have meaning. We're going to get into it with the cards now, but I'm being told that every little thing that you're seeing, that you're picking up in these dreams, um, they have meaning and i'm being told that you guys are strongly clairvoyant and i'm being told that the reason you're seeing symbolism is because of your clairvoyant abilities um that's an another thing that's coming through as well and i'm being told for you to really like pay attention like the minute you wake up have like a little dream journal and write down symbols not necessarily like what was going on but the symbol of it or like the principle of what was going on or how you felt like colors and i'm being told like whatever you can remember even if it's a bit distorted write it down um because you could even meditate on it and and find a specific answer to it i'm being told but let's get in what is um pile number one's dreams trying to tell them what is my pile number one's some of you have been having really frightening dreams and being shown police cars police sirens running away from people um the reason you're having these dreams is because whatever it was that was cemented that's being transmuted in your emotional body, it's to do with earlier years of life or early teens where there would have been fear. Um, and it's not even, you know what it is? It's either fear of someone else or fear of someone taking full control over you um, or taking you out of your own essence. You could be being chased or things like that are stalked where you're getting really frightened or there's this fear of what was it you were just showing me um just now spirit guides with the um the fear thing i feel like you may have been gaslighted in your childhood or your teens and i feel like th there's almost this feeling in your dreams of being taken out of your essence or being accused of something that you didn't do or having to defend yourself or fight for yourself because i feel like a lot of times in your childhood you had to defend your name or defend who you were or you were just completely gaslighted to the point that you stayed quiet and these little things are coming up in your dream state they're literally being tugged and i feel like your higher self your soul is helping transmute that while you're sleeping um so there's a lot going on especially in your emotional field like i feel like you're feeling very weary it could be going the complete opposite way where in your waking life you are just drained and you just feel apathetic and you don't feel any love for life or it could be the other way where you're super sensitive um yeah there's it is either going one way or the other some of you guys are feeling super sensitive in your waking life and just feeling really upset and having flashbacks and then the other side of you it's like you're just feeling apathetic but either way there's no wrong or right answer to what's going on you're, you're literally healing it's literally coming out and i'm being told this too shall pass um your dreams are giving you almost like a little comic book of like um this is what's going on this is what's going on it's 22 on the clock as i look over as well if you guys have been seeing 22 a lot um let's pull the cards pile one why what is pile number one's dreams trying to tell them five of swords reversed okay what is pile number one's dreams trying to tell them your cards just literally leaped out for me eight of pentacles two of cups have you been thinking about somebody from your past? Have you been thinking about somebody from your past or reconciling with somebody from your past? Um, 
there's a connection, pal number one, that you would have had that mirrored a, par a parental dynamic with the five of swords reversed here. Um, and it's a, it's a it's a dynamic that isn't very healthy. I'm being shown it's a dynamic. It doesn't have to be a, f um, a relationship. It could be a friend. You're having a dream about a specific friend, a specific relationship, like someone from your past, maybe an ex or someone you were connected to like that. Or it could be you're literally having dreams of a specific parent or family member. Um, but what I'm being told is... Um, Okay, help me put this in a word spirit, guys. It's quite profound what you're doing. It's actually very beautiful what you're doing, but it's heavy to actually process it. So you would have either been gaslighted or um, hurt in your childhood by someone. There's like a dynamic here in your early waking life that just wouldn't have been the best. And I feel like obviously at that age, you wouldn't have known what you will, you know, that pattern that you were learning was wrong or that maybe you should have stood up for yourself or that back and forth or having to earn love or any of that. None of that was healthy, but you didn't, you didn't know that. So obviously you went about life and I feel like there's a specific connection that came in karmically to mirror these wounds um, with your parents so that you could become aware of them in your adult life to transmute them. And I feel like it almost feels like the connection with this person hurt more than even the connection with the parent because the wounds were being inflicted. But at this point, you're an adult and you understand the wounds to a deeper degree. So now it's hurting even more and you, you can't understand it. And I feel like you've been doing the work to heal that connection. But that connection was leading you back to your childhood with this particular parent or that particular person that ingrained those, those wounds within you. And I feel like they're right at the bottom where you're kind of like pulling up and, and transmuting this energy. And there's almost this feeling then because that connection mirrored your, that family situation, I feel like you're almost thinking about this specific person and fixating on this person, maybe in dreams, maybe in your waking life, you're over this person, but in your dreams, this person keeps coming up. Maybe you're replaying a lot of scenarios in dreams where this person comes back. You and this person are still in a relationship. You and this person are still talking. You may be even having, I'm even being told, visitations from this person's higher self where they're maybe apologizing, where they may be showing you where they went wrong. Maybe you're having, if this person's in another relationship or if it's a friend and, you know, they're going about their life, you could be your soul could maybe be looking at what they're up to in their life right now or you're just getting updates of what's going on in their life right now and I feel like it's because there's almost this essence of the higher self and you being like emotionally connected or energetically connected and I feel like they're almost showing you um this is what's going on in my life or this is the true essence of like who I am or this is why I acted the way that I did this is really what went on because there's almost this feeling of this higher self of this person that inflicted those wounds within you. Their higher self is guiding you through that healing. Um, and I feel like you're doing it for them too in like the higher realms too, but I feel like they're coming into your dream state as a way of like paying you back and helping you heal this wound, like rooting for you on your team. Even if you don't speak to this person, even if they did, you know, something that you just don't want them back for, that's fine. But there's an energy of the higher self helping you heal helping you transmute that, helping you work through that. Um, it could even be the parent as well, the higher self of the parent helping you heal this wound. So you, the reason that these specific people are coming up in your dream is because they're helping you heal. You could even be having dreams of ancestors that passed away or you just shared from them. Or maybe souls that keep appearing in your dreams and you don't have a clue why they're helping you, why they're showing up. They are helping you heal these wounds because the same way i'm being told in the physical realm we'll have certain actions that happen trigger us to remember hurt and pain so that we can transmute it it also happens in dream state because dream state happens in another dimension it's like the 4d them souls will then reenact in, in the 4d in the dream state and act as someone who's hurting you to trigger the emotions that let it come out in the dream state too so pay attention to certain people that are coming through in dreams even if it's an ex for 10 years ago ex from 15 years ago they're coming to trigger these wounds within you within your dream and they're coming out maybe you're feeling upset in the dream or whatever so it's showing you um it's helping you transmute even in those murky waters, you know what I mean? Where you're getting to the bottom of it and pulling it out by the roots. So there's so much healing going on. And I feel like so many people's like higher selves are around you helping you heal. It feels very beautiful. And I just feel like you're completely in realm state. Like you're waking up in the morning and then you're feeling very apathetic or maybe you're feeling really weary and you're so tired. But it's like, 
you're living another incarnation it feels in your dreams that ties to your physical world because it's helping you heal um all of this destruction to put it to bed because i feel like even the universe and i feel like your whole higher self it's almost like maneuvering everything around so you can have this transmutation to then welcome in more beautiful connections that are more fulfilling for you with this two of cups so it's like you're revisiting a lot of the past or wounds with this five of swords reversed so that you can clear the garden ready for new connections to come in um, that aren't then um, triggered by the wounds that were in the garden before, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like we want to build this beautiful garden, but we can't yet. Um, until all of these weeds are brought up and i feel like a lot of these souls are around you helping you pull them up it's like oh the whole family is coming together to pull the garden up so that we can you know have these new flowers come in which is very very beautiful and i i keep hearing we're rooting for you we're rooting for you so there's a lot of souls that maybe you don't even speak to in this lifetime anymore or maybe just souls that are ancestors and you may think in your physical life and you have every right to feel this in your physical life because you are living you know, in this incarnation, you may think, I don't want to speak to this person again. They're coming through to say as well, you have every right to not want to speak to me again in this lifetime. Um, and, you know, you can hold on to that or you can transmute that. You know, you, you can have your opinions and all of that because you're supposed to. Don't guilt yourself out of not wanting someone back in your life if they've hurt you. But no, beyond the physical world, we are interconnected spiritually. I have love for you and I'm rooting for you. You know what I mean? Because a lot of souls will team up with them and go right i need to heal this in this lifetime or i'm karmically healing this ancestrally do you want to play out this role with me and we can kind of heal and transmute this yeah okay and that can kind of happen so that's definitely coming through and i feel like that soul's helping guide you which is bringing you then with this hanged man energy i just feel like um you're reaching a lot of aha moments even in in sleep so it's like when you're waking up you may have like had like a wound that literally was like ingrained and then it's like without even realizing it, you wake up, you don't even care about it anymore. And it, you didn't even have to do much healing in the physical world because it was happening in dream state. You were releasing it in dream state. Like you may even think back to like five years ago and be like, remember when I was so fixed on this and I was even fixed on it this time last year and I couldn't get it out of my brain and now I don't care. And then it's like, but I didn't do anything, but you did in dream state. You were transmuting it in dream state. Your dreams right now specifically are tied to your emotional body. So let's pull some oracle cards um and it's making way it's making way specifically for new connections not just relationship but friendships too i feel like a lot of your relationships and friendships with other people were plagued with karmic energy from um how you may have been raised or ancestral karma or just something like that that would have been ingrained and you're transmuting it and there's a lot of souls like literally root and feel on your team so i'm going to use the blind spot oracle i love these cards they basically show they have like runes and then they show the um the emotion that you may not be seeing so we're going to go a bit deeper and see what we're not seeing um in regards to your um in regards to your dreams it's the um i'll show you the booklet if you want to get them because i love these specifically it's the blind spot oracle cards they look like this really brilliant really brilliant oracle cards i haven't used them on my channel before i was just using them while i was healing now it's time to bring them and <laughs> now it's time to bring them into um into my channel onto my channel even so pal one what is going on in palamba one's dream state what is palamba one's dreams trying to tell <laughs> I'm being shown like even your higher self like it's kind of correlating with one of the pick a cards I wanted to do which was when we fall asleep where do we go but I'm almost being shown like your higher self like coming out of your physical body in in a sense like that essence it's like right guys like calling in soul tribe members and being like right I need to heal this um so this is what we're gonna do and they're almost showing me like um like a sergeant like we're, we're gonna do this you need to show up in this stream and do this this is what's happening this is what's happening it's gonna trigger this emotion i'm gonna feel it i'll probably be sad for you know a couple of days maybe even a couple of weeks it's a big i'm here and it's a big one but then it's gonna come out and then when that's done this is gonna come up so then we're gonna need to focus it's like your brain's just going boom 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 and that's your higher self because there's almost this feeling of like clearing out the clutter right now and it's like a mission for your higher self like we're making way for the new it's like 
I don't know if you've ever watched um in the UK we have this program called 60 minute makeover I only know because my nan used to watch it they'd have 60 minutes to renovate a full house um it probably lasted more than 60 minutes but that's how they'd added it and they'd like literally redo the house and there'd be like this one person like right wallpaper on the floor you know this on the floor and they'd be taking out all the the luggage to like and not the luggage the deco and stuff to bring in the new and I just it's 33 on the clock by the way if you've been seeing that um and it's like they're rushing around to get everything sorted and i just feel like a house i was like right this new phase is coming in we need to get rid of this this needs to come out we can't build new connections with this feeling we need to get rid of it so i need you to come into the 4d and sh you know trigger this emotion within me and it's gonna be sad so i'm gonna need some uplifting messages so it's like there's so much going on but they're like laughing like that's the way your higher self's brain's like boom 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 boom, boom. obviously your higher self doesn't have a brain but it's just the essence of it like i'm on a mission and your higher self is like that. Like, I'm on a mission. This is what I'm doing. And I just, like, love this. It's just a complete clear out. So that, and the whole purpose of it is to open the gateway to new um, relationships. And you may be seeing the symbolism of water in your dreams a lot. And it doesn't just have to be water. It can be ice. Anything to do with water, snow, ice, anything like that may be showing up in your dreams. It could be tsunamis. I used to have a lot of dreams when I was healing um, the wound with my parents specifically. I would be shown tsunami dreams all the time, like constantly. So like tidal waves, things like that. Um, because you naturally feel engulfed by these emotions. It is heavy. You're going to feel overwhelmed, which then can show in the dream state of like tsunamis and, t you know, being taken by a tidal wave and things like that. So um, that's something like ice, snow, water, anything like that. Um... Or just feeling like something's happening to your body out of control. Like, I'm being shown somebody maybe, like, choking. Or, but it's not in real life. It's, like, in the dream. So, like, it's something, like, I'm out of control. I'm not in control of my body. Because it's a part of your shadow self. A part of your subconscious. Like, I'm not, even con I'm not in control of this. I'm not in control of it. So, it's showing up of, as, like, fear in your dreams. Of, like, I'm being chased. Or I've got to hide and things like that. I feel like your dreams are probably a bit intense. But it's... You're, you're, you're feeling the emotion when you wake up as well and I'm being told that when you wake up in the morning to have a psychic shower or a psychic bath or just rinse water over you just to cleanse yourself from the dream because when you wake up I'm being told your dreams feel real or they're affecting your day um, and I'm being told for you guys to cleanse when you wake up and set the attention as the water comes over you to to um, wash away um, anything that's making you feel um, in any way you know like disconnected or anything like that so wait is this 66 or 99 i've forgotten 66 okay so we have 66 here this room here i'll tell you the meanings of them now i just want to pull two um one more card please spirit guides one more card One more card, please, for your guides. One more card. What is pal number one's dreams trying to tell them? What are, we, what are they not seeing about their dreams? Can you show me what their dreams are trying to tell them? What are they not seeing about their dreams, please, for your guides? What are pal number one's not seeing about their dreams? 77. Oh, my God. 66. 77. What is going on here? Okay. Let me move these over here. So, guys, the card of... 66 this room here is the card of conversion right and then we literally have 77 here which is the card of upset that's correlating to the emotions which i was just talking about so do you see how we have conversion what is happening in your dream state is a direct reflection of the emotions that you are transmuting to convert your waking life in the physical world so that you no longer have to move forward with this makeup of maybe fear in certain people, not knowing how to receive love, being scared to stand in your own essence because you were gaslighted, having to defend yourself, having to be on edge, having to do all of these things. It's being converted and with upset, you're being triggered in your dream state. All these emotions are coming up in your dream state so that your physical life can be converted as you're jumping from one paradigm to another paradigm because there's a full clear out coming out coming on and a clear out does not happen if we're not jumping from one paradigm to another and a clear out does not happen if 
certain wounds and aspects haven't already begun to unravel and shift within us to take us to that other timeline because we cannot jump from one timeline to another and convert like that from one life to another without really unraveling the old and that's why a lot of people will stay stuck in the same mindset for a lot of their life that's why a lot of people will stay stuck in the same dynamic for a lot of their life because they don't want to address what's under the carpet they don't want to address the murky waters they don't want to get into that garden and really take on the responsibility of pulling up those weeds and taking everything they don't want to do that so what happens is they never convert from one life to another. They never jump from one paradigm to another. They don't bring in new cycles because they don't want the added stress or they fear the upset and emotions that come with it. Whereas you've been walking into the storm because you know on the end of that storm is that new paradigm and you know that you can't take that luggage and that past energy that was weighing you down. That's so outdated. It's so, you know, last season, you know? So you're transmuting it to jump to that other timeline where it doesn't even weigh you down anymore. It's not anchoring you there anymore. You're letting go of these anchors. You're allowing yourself to float back up to the top. But to do that, you're having to untie yourself. And obviously untying yourself, you're really taking a good look at everything that's down there. And that's what's causing the upset. So you're waking up the next morning and maybe you're dealing with these heavy emotions. Or there's these heavy emotions that are processing. And it's not just emotions in the sense of sadness. It's anger, maybe. Maybe you're waking up really annoyed and irritated with people. Maybe you're waking up out of, in fear. You know what I mean? You're having these dreams where you're scared of things. And then you're waking up frightened, frightened of the world, frightened of what's going on. And it's because they're being shown to you because to move into your new paradigm, fear in the way that you've held on to it in the past, it doesn't exist. It needs to transmute now into something different. That fear needs to turn into, you know, something else. It needs to turn, that fear needs to turn into fire of protection for yourself and other people in a healthier way. You know what I mean? That fear of, of, of being hurt, it needs to transmute now because it's going to block you from these new connections coming in, which are, you know, going to be coming in, but they can't come in until they have a safe place to root themselves. So that's literally what's happening. Um, and you're, you're wake, I'm being told you're waking up and then you're like, I have no idea why I'm feeling this way. Like, I have no idea why I'm thinking of this situation that happened to me when I was in school or that person that bullied me when I was in school or that person that said that thing to me. It was because you buried it down at that age. It's now coming up. Or maybe some of you guys are thinking, I don't even know why I'm feeling like this. Everything's going good and I don't know why I'm feeling like this. But as long as you process the emotion and you just allow it to pass, it's all good. Because your higher self and your dreams are helping you take care of it. Because you are multidimensional. So when something doesn't make sense, there is a reason for it, even if you can't physically see it. But I'm being told for you to either meditate or get, if you feel overwhelmed and you're like, you really want to get down to the bottom of why you're feeling a specific energy, I'm being told for you to... I'm being told for you to be in complete silence and hold, like home in on that emotion that you're feeling and really dissect it. What makes me feel that way? Why am I feeling this way? When have I felt this way before? You know, what? what is it? What is it about that memory that keeps coming up? Why do I keep looking at it? Why is it coming up? And, and take a look at that. But I feel like a lot of, like for a lot of you, your dreams are taken care of a lot. Like your dreams are really taken care of a lot. So let's keep going. Pile number one. What is pile number one's dreams? Trying to tell them please, spirit guides. I really love this reading, actually. Really love this reading. We have the Kiwi. Do a walk-in meditation each day for the next week. So we have that here. Um, what do we have at the back of the deck? Cardinal. The are they birds? They're both birds. Birds may be significant. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium equilibrium so the fact that you have this with the do a walk and meditation each day for the next week the fact that they've both come through i feel like there's there's so much emphasis right now on your emotional body and it's meant to be happening and i'm not saying go and take on a really grueling schedule a really grueling workout get out there and do all these fun things because right now i'm almost being told it's not even possible you're very fatigued which is normal but doing little things for yourself in the physical that just bring pleasure and make you feel safe and make you feel grounded or just give you space to just be yourself and and, and allow yourself to um process everything that's going on in your internal world 
with it saying do a walk and meditation each day for the next week there's this energy of you just being out in nature and i'm being told some of you guys with all of these emotions you may have your airpods in or your earphones in or your headphones in trying to distract yourself in your brain um and i'm being told for you to really just sit in silence or go out in nature and just be in silence and just see what comes through and allow that silence and just look at where you are um and help yourself feel safe in this physical world right now um in a very soft way there's comfort that needs to be brought into your physical world right now there's self-nurturing that needs to be happening you there's a slow paced schedule that i'm being told for you to be focusing on and i know some of you guys like have jobs that may be grueling but where you can in the evenings and the mornings taking a, just a little bit of time out even if it's like 30 minutes an hour just to be soft just to chill out just to have that nice bath just to be by the ocean just to be by the forest just to sit with your plants and just be still because there's so much going on and you don't want to overload the physical world you're being told to be very soft and take your time right now that's something that i'm being told for you guys to be doing and i know how hard it is to say because i remember when i was doing like shadow work like back to back for for like years and i literally there was so much going on but i was like bullying myself for taking time out and nurturing myself i was bullying myself for it it took a while for me to be okay with just nurturing myself just letting myself go with the flow it took me a while to do that um and i'm being told for you guys to really take that on and not bully yourself for just wanting time out wanting to just be soft wanting to just chill out even like if you just don't feel like i'm being told to listen to your energy right now because i'm being told that class sentient abilities for you are either strong or they're breaking so they're becoming strong and i'm being told that people may be wanting to see you a lot right now physically like i want to see you let me come around and see you let's do this let's do that i'm being told that listen to your intuition because if you really don't feel you can hack any more energy than what you're going through right now it's okay to say no it doesn't mean you're being antisocial or anything like that if you genuinely in your body like it's alarming you and you feel like oh i don't want to see this person or this person's a bit too loud i can't take on this person's energy right now it's okay to say no and anyone that has any like true like respect for you and respects your boundaries will respect that you don't want that right now um pile number two what's pile number two's dreams trying to tell them the child within oh my god guys what was i saying about you being gentle with yourself it literally says the inner mother innocence gentleness tenderness did you have a dynamic with your mother where they were really hard on you or really pushy on you or they were really loud maybe they were you know abusive in ways like th there's an essence of like you having a bit of a distorted view of the divine mother of the divine mother within yourself then it's becoming imbalanced because it wasn't ingrained in you like, I, I feel like the nurturing was taken away and it was almost like a masculine energy was pushed on you so either only your father was around or your mother was very masculine or it could have just been that you had to take the mother and role on your own mother so you're learning to give yourself the mothering that maybe you didn't receive give yourself the nurturing that maybe you didn't receive and maybe that's what's being transmuted and healed right now so you may be having dreams of your mom um or you may be having dreams of like people that enacted wounds within your life that reminded you of your mother like for example i had a lot of wounds with my own mother and i had an ex who like my mother had substance abuse issues and then my first like real boyfriend had substance abuse issues and was you know very abusive in that sense and it literally mirrored everything that it could have with my own mother and it helped me realize that so there's a feeling of that like someone may have triggered something in you um that reminded you of that mother and it doesn't have to be it's you know it's different for all of you but you're learning to be soft and gentle and i feel like it, there's something about that coming through um if you guys don't have children the connections that you're making in the new paradigm may lead to you having children or in this next phase that you're walking into would be the phase that you have children so that's why you're learning to um plant that better foundation for children then to come in it could be that um if not you can just let that go over your head but that's something that's coming through um the wasteland sustainability slow down tend to your gut oh my god guys <laughs> oh my god it literally says tend to your garden the waste lands which i'm literally talking about you taking the roots and all of the mess out of your garden sustainability slow down tend to your garden tend to your garden what were we talking about the whole 
it's as if I'm psychic. And the water on the drought going into the cracks. And I was saying you're having like a flush emotionally at the beginning. And look as she's praying and then a flower's growing on her back and then grass is growing over where there was a drought and there's ancestors in the background. If that card doesn't just sum up everything I've just said. Oh my God. Guys, like this work. And that was at the back of your deck. That was at the back of the deck. And then the child within. <sighs> See, See, I just love how everything correlates like that. Like, it just, it baffles me still to this day. I feel like I don't need to go in on the card because I feel like it's just explained everything I've just said. And I love when that happens. Pile number one. Pile number one. You're doing some work, pile one. What's going on in pile one's dreams, spirit guides? What's pile number one's dreams trying to tell them? And you're so loved, like, the ancestors and spirit around you. Like, I'm, I swear to God, like, you may have gone through this life and thought, I'm on my own in this. Like, I'm really on my own. And then I tap into your spirit team and your spirit world. Do you know how many people are, like, guiding and helping you? Even if you can't physically feel it right now, they are. Oh, God, your card just fell on the floor. Two seconds. Like, there's love and support all around you. We are, <laughs> you know the card that said slow down? Um, it literally says that the wasteland sustainability slow down. We literally have the sea turtles slow down, be patient and persistent. That Taurus energy. You're being told to step into that Taurus energy in your waking life. So maybe a lot of your dreams where you're scared and you're worrying and maybe like you're rushing around and you're feeling overwhelmed and there's lots of water. Either you're having dreams with lots of water or you're having dreams where something's out of your control a lot. Um, you're being chased, you're being, you know, I'm being told, to oh my God, I'm being told like someone's had a dream of a house burning down. It's talking about foundations transmuting. Um, but at the same time, it's triggering that fear of I'm not in control of this. I'm not in control. I'm scared. I'm not in control of this. And it's coming up in, in your dreams because it's like your subconscious is, is fear in that. It's showing the fear. And how you can help that is by giving yourself space while you're healing these emotions and working through these emotions and slowing down in your waking life um, and giving yourself that space to really process what's going on. We have the sunken ship as well. Oh, wow. What was I saying about you jumping from one paradigm to another? Look what we have at the back of the deck. Sunken ship, your past does not have to define your future. You're clearing out so that when you walk into this new paradigm, it's not going to be repeating the same cycles as before. Look how this is all coming together with these oracle cards. Sorry, guys, my door just knocked and for some reason I'm hearing dogs back in. I don't know what that is. Um, pile number one. Pile... Pile number one. Pile number one. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my door knocked. I don't know what it was, but there was a dog back in. I don't know. Um, pile number one. Pile number one. What is pile number one streams trying to tell them? Oh, you've had two come out. What have we got? <laughs> the mother cards come out again There's something to do with your mother guys mantra very mother compassionate kindness and we have the visionary sea queen that's come out with it potent projections potent protect and we have the 22 here which i saw at the beginning of the reading on the clock 22 is significant here which is funny because the two the number two is connected to the divine mother the feminine you know it's ruled by the moon <laughs> so i think you're healing either karmic wounds from your mother's side that's been shown in your dreams or it's a literal wound that was installed in you by a certain parent you're transmuting it potent projections compassionate kindness potent projections 
Okay. Going into the shadow work, you've had to tap into your divine masculine and really like filter out and deal with all of these darker emotions. Um, so it's almost like you've gone from one swing to the other. You were very sensitive, very compassionate to the point that you your heart chakra was maybe overactive in ways um you wouldn't think of yourself so going into this transmutation you've had to embody like your divine masculine or you've had to really like step into your essence and really like cut the bs and and really be in that essence of having to be selfish and all of that and i'm being told what's happening is you're having this turnover in your emotions to come back to your softness but it's being the the part of you where maybe you self-sacrificed and you overgave that's being transmuted so instead of having to um feel like you need to give 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 and and self-sacrifice now you're stepping into your own essence of the divine mother and i found this with myself when i healed a lot of my mother wounds and i he i healed like my my inner child and my need to self-sacrifice i thought i was gonna lose my heart because i you know i always credited my heart i was like i have a big heart i really care about people and i thought i was gonna lose it I never lost it, but it changed because by healing my inner child, the divine mother woke within myself. And I naturally have this like mother bear, mother cub energy towards anyone now. I still care. I still want to protect. But you know what I was saying? Like removing fear and placing it with fire. That's what happened in my experience when I healed my inner child. It was like the fear transmuted into protection i no longer was fearing things i wanted to protect i wanted to protect myself i wanted to protect everyone else like like a mama bear would and i feel like that's something that's being transmuted within you so there's like this fire coming through um while you're st stepping into your essence and that transmutation is having those wounds and upset be transformed so that you can step into this essence and that's what's happen happening um I feel like a lot of people have projected on you and I feel like that's what's being transmuted and being filtered through as well in your it's happening in your dream state. In the back of the deck <laughs> the back of the deck we have DNA activation. The serpent spirit. Some of you guys are going through a Kundalini awakening. But like I said, what's happening is you're shedding layers, you're jumping from one timeline to another, new gifts are coming through, and I just feel like the filtering of that is happening in dream state. It's literally happening in, in your dream state right now. Um which is why it's showing up and why you're having these emotions come through or why you're having certain scenarios playing out where you're being hurt and things like that or exes are showing up people from the past to show that's why it's literally happening um so you can filter it out once and for all because once that inner child is healed or the inner teenager is healed because some of you it's inner child some of you it's inner teenager the divine mother comes through um and the reason i'm saying divine mother we have the divine mother in all of us um so even if you're um you know you are male you still have a divine mother within you and it's being transmuted um it's to be honest it feels like the mother because in the center of your reading it comes up here the child within inner mother innocence gentleness tenderness that's what's happening that's why you have the amber crystal that you've chosen i feel like amber would be really beneficial if you could get that um if not just maybe wear orange and have that color i'm also being told for you to burn orange essential oil um that would really help you because i feel like it's clearing out your um sacral chakra and you may find anything to correlate into the sacral chakra may be feeling a little bit out of whack you may be having like hormonal imbalances and things like that and i feel like it's all coming from like the sacral chakra because it's like i think of like hormonal balances and especially with females it's like the ovaries and then that correlates to the sacral chakra so you may have certain things like that that are coming into effect while you're clearing it out and i feel like it's generations worth it's not just you it's generations worth of energy and you're transmuting it pile pile number one and it's a heavy period you're going through but i'm being told to say to end the reading like i said towards the start this too shall pass and this is what it's is coming up as a result in your dreams and that's what's affecting your dreams um so yeah pile one that is what i had for you that was really interesting and i really enjoyed that so thank you for letting me read for you guys i really love this and thank you for choosing this because i love it um and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you clarity on your dreams. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal 2, welcome to your reading. So today we are taking a look at what your dreams are trying to tell you. Um, so you guys chose the whale spirit, not whale spirit, but the fact that I said whale spirit, maybe some of you guys, um, 
spirit animal is a whale because <laughs> i just said whale spirit instead of whale soapstone so some of you guys may have the um the whale or any like creatures like that dolphins and stuff as your spirit animal and that's quite interesting that i said that hmm okay so today pal two we are taking a look at what your dreams are trying to tell you so i'm gonna get straight in starting with tarot and then we will move on to your oracle cards so spirit guys can you tap me into the collective of my pile number two please tap me into my pile number two what is my pile number two's dreams trying to tell them first of all i'm saying some of you guys you it's funny with you guys it's either go hard or go home right your dreams you either don't recall your dream at all like you have no recollection of what you dreamt of or your dreams are like crazy vivid you're on some sort of alice in wonderland journey there's a whole plot twist a synopsis different characters loads of colors like it's like a whole movie you feel like you feel like you've watched a movie when you've woken up so it's like go hard or go home it's one spectrum to another um we're gonna get into why but that's just something that's come through about your dreams and this it's different for everybody, but I feel like with you guys, pal number two, when you do go to sleep, when you are dreaming, I feel like not only is it a hot spot for you for psychic activity, because I just feel like you've got a lot of downloads that come through, a lot of information that comes through as you're falling asleep. You, you feel like me in the sense, like when I'm in REM state, like before I'm falling asleep and just before, I have the most vivid visitations from spirit, the most vivid like prophecies, psychic visions, and I feel like it's like that for you, but even at like three o'clock in the morning, you're waking up and you're just getting a bunch of downloads. Or like, I, I just feel like there's sleeping for you is a hot spot. There's something about you when you go to sleep, even when you dream, that it's it's like a whole, how do I put this into words? It's hard for me to put it into words, but it feels like a whole spiritual experience because I'm being told when you don't remember the dream, it's because you were literally, um, and a lot of your energy, because we're multidimensional, was in the higher realms doing a lot. And your brain can't physically comprehend it yet, what was going on. Because as humans, we can't comprehend what's going on in the 12th dimension, 13th dimension. There's no way our human brains would be able to comprehend it. So you allow yourself to shut off so that you don't remember that. Because your brain, just, it, it would blow your mind like no human could understand it. Whereas then when you do have dreams, it's when you're playing, either when you're playing around in like, realms like 4d 5d where you can still comprehend or it's just your inner world is like this alice in wonderland and there's just so much that goes on that it's just like a big hot spot where spirit can visit you where you can get these downloads and i just feel like there's a lot of coding that happens in those time periods a lot of downloading that happens in those time periods even when you don't remember your dreams i almost feel like there's downloading going on there's um psychic gifts like being downloaded there's like dna activations there's a lot that goes on when you sleep like sleep is a hot spot for you um 100 percent like for you more than i feel any of the other piles like there's something really strong about you and lucid dreaming and astral traveling and and going to sleep like there's something really strong here um yeah it's like we go hard or go home sort of thing um pile number two it's almost for you like when you go to sleep your dream world is like another world and you kind of go back and forth between the worlds like that's honest to god how it feels it's reminding me of avatar and he forgets what was his physical body and what was his avatar body because he's slipping in and out there's like a feeling of that and i feel like you may have continuation dreams where you continue where you laugh left off or you'll have a dream when you're like six years old of going to this place but it was in your dream and then when you're like 29 you have a dream and you're in that same place and you're like how would my brain remember every detail down to the coloring of the walls or the plants that were there like or the people that were there how does my brain remember that like this doesn't make sense but i feel like you're remembering dimensions and cordons and things like that it's like there's a lot going on here pal too like a lot going on here pal number two what are pal number two's dreams trying to tell them we have the nine of wands i feel like you dip into your kashic records a lot when you're dreaming i feel like you have visions of other lifetimes when you lived in other lifetimes i feel like you have visions and you access 
other timelines like that you could have lived on before and after i'm literally being shown like so you know you quit a job um and you're like working in a different job or you're working for yourself you'll have dreams where like you're still working in that old job because it's on a different timeline like i feel like you access different timelines and see where you could have been and i i don't know it's hard for me to even put into words pile two i feel like your pile is probably going to be the hardest for me to channel um because to even put it into words i know it sounds like bizarre but i feel like you'll get it so that's cool like i feel like you'll get me but it, it's it's so hard to comprehend everything that's coming through like you're my psychic psychic pile i feel um you're definitely connected with like the high realms and i feel like you're connected with um like your starseed roots and things like that i feel like you very much are right your cards just fell over but i feel like that card was supposed to flip so that's cool we'll take a look at that six of wands okay pile number oh my god your cards are leaping out for me queen of wands as well and i wasn't going to pull another card but the, the moon reversed flipped over as i was doing that as well so instead of three we're gonna have four and the back of the deck we have judgment here as well um, i'm gonna move that out of the camera but just know that judgment was there so the nine of wands six of wands queen of wands there's a lot of fire energy here i almost feel like your dreams when you go into 4d when you go into the higher realms and things like that i feel like it's your little playground to just manifest and do whatever you want i feel like you lucid dream often and if you don't i feel like you'll start doing that like i said i feel like without even realizing it you're Again, it's almost like your higher self is reviewing things, reviewing other timelines, reviewing other lives. And then, like, part of it ingrains in your subconscious and you remember um, those other timelines and those other situations. Or you remember the 4D, like, you remember those imprints. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, that was a crazy dream. Or that was a vivid dream. Or that felt very real. Because your higher self was reviewing it and you're remembering it. There's, like, a lot of that in regards to the Akashic record. And then you you wake up and you're like, well, that was a dream. But it might not have even been a dream. It was your higher self reviewing it. But you recall it as a dream because that's how your brain comprehends it. Crazy stuff. But that's literally what's coming through, pile two. Um, another thing I'm being told with all these ones, we'll get to the moon reverse. I feel like that's a completely different message. But we'll get there in a second. But with all of these ones and this fire energy as well, I'm being told that you get a lot of wisdom from your dreams. I feel like you get a lot of, um, what's the word? A lot of inspiration from your dreams. I feel like I'm... Yeah, spirit's showing me what what i do and it's something that i do but i'm being told you do something like this i'll have a dream where spirit's like showing me myself moving my room around or moving the living room around or moving like the bathroom and everything around or changing the color um and i'm doing it and i'm going right this will help my heart chakra this is going to help this and this is going to help this this color is going to help this and if i put my bed here it'll help this and that'll happen in my dream very vividly and then i'll wake up and then i'll literally draw out what i saw and then move my room or like change the walls or change the design to fit what i saw in my dream and then I feel more at harmony when it happens. So I feel like you've got a lot, a lot of inspiration from your dreams. Like, oh, well, in my dreams, um, I was in France in 1800s and we were all dancing to this song and we had, you know, they're like French outfits and all of that. And I'm really like connected to that. That's really like inspired me. And then in your physical world, you'll use that as a lead because I'm picking up a lot of Aries energy. You'll use that as a lead to study about, you know, that, that French period in real life. And then you'll realize that there's a connection there that would have been a past life. And you'll find out a new layer of yourself or a code in that gets released when you research it. So it could be to do with like um, Thailand. You see yourself in Thailand or you'll see like a a situation that happened in thailand or an outfit that people wore it's like that really rings a bell like when you wake up and then you get it's so encoded into them that you research it and then it becomes it's like you're unraveling part of yourself through it so i feel like there's so much downloads that happen like that even just like activate it's even like accessing your higher timelines like um you see yourself in a year's time with a child or you see yourself in a year's time driving this car and you didn't even know that was something that you desired or wanted but because you dreamed of it now it's imprinted within you and then you go off and chase it in the physical realm so you get a lot of coding through your dreams in that way even if it sounds like something silly like um i woke up 
um, and I had this dream where I was eating a lot of spinach, right? And you're like, oh, do you know what? I could really fancy some spinach. And then you start making this food with spinach. Little did you know that your body needed like iron or something like that. And that's why you had the dream to show, you know what I mean? And you followed that map. So there's a lot of like Akashic record access and maps that you're tapping into in your dreams to go and follow. The same with like getting your creative juices flowing and um maybe the way you want to dress or unlocking a part of your personality or um building a certain business or following a certain career I feel like as well as visitation from spirit I feel like you do um it it, it just triggers something in you where it's like oh my god like I had this dream where I was making jewelry that's a really good idea I'm gonna start doing that lots of like planting seeds happens in your dreams and then they bloom in the physical it's really interesting it's seven seventeen on the clock um if you guys have been seeing that number a lot so that's something that I'm being shown for sure I feel like your dreams as well keep you connected to the higher realms like I feel like you could feel completely out of whack in the evening or just feel like your mind's racing or feel disconnected to yourself you go to sleep you wake up and you feel like yourself again you feel really good there's a feeling of that coming through like they wire you back because the thing is with you Grounding into the physical, yes, but what keeps you sane is grounding into your heart space and the higher realms. Like, that's quite, they're almost showing it to me like that's how you ground and call yourself back to yourself. Like, remembering that it's more than just the physical. And I feel like you do that through sleep. That's something that I'm being told. Um, if you don't lucid dream or you don't lucid dream a lot, you're going to start lucid dreaming a lot more. Um, I wouldn't even say, oh, try and do it. I would say let it come to you naturally because I feel like it's something you're going to be accessing a lot and being able to maneuver through your Akashic records a lot and you'll find then that the dreams where you might not have been able to remember things you'll start to remember dreams more and more because the more you ascend and the more you connect to that side of yourself the more you'll be able to comprehend what your dreams are saying and showing you um, and you'll be able to access it and digest it in the brain the more that you open up to that so that's something that I'm being told um yeah I feel like when you fall asleep you just slip through to another realm so easily I'm being told um very very easily nine of wands six of wands why do we have the six of wands here I feel like you get a lot of visitation from your spirit guides um ascended masters as well coming through you may have like dreams of particular deities coming through to you um that's something that comes through some of you guys may have even been visited by celebrities like higher selves and you're like oh i had a dream about this person it's like no that was that person's higher self that's just something that came through it may sound bizarre you can let it pass if you don't believe in that but that is something i'm being shown you've been visited by a celebrity or two and it was their higher self um especially if you're into like psychic abilities and stuff like that like you are really into channeling and i feel like you are this particular pile um but that's something that i'm that I'm being told and when we think of like you chose the whale soapstone and when you think of the whale like the whale, is, the whale is such a big creature it can swim to like depths that human beings have never ever seen before and I feel like that's you like you can astral travel and lucid dream and connect to realms that quite frankly human beings at least in this day and age can't quite reach um very easily it's it's kind of like very few souls can do that and i feel like you're one of those people that can access that quite deeply um i don't know why i'm being shown dolores can and you may listen to her work you may be interested in her work you may um be into like hypnotherapy and things like that it's just something that's coming through like her whole um everything that she did like her whole career is coming through that may be something that you'll end up going into um but that's something that i'm being told i'm also being sh shown that you see previous incarnations um for your soul yeah i just feel like you kind of ace the higher realms anyway and that's why i'm being shown like go hard or go home because when you remember you don't just remember you literally embody that dream um is what i'm being told and when you can't remember it's because your soul went so far um are you just completely opened up to the higher realms that again for your own mental sake and your own like physical sake your higher self was like right let's block that off that's why you don't remember it um with the moon card reverse your dream will show you a lot of hidden aspects your dreams will show you i feel like you've been shown in psychic dreams where people have maybe lied to you cheated on you talked about you um when someone's been playing up maybe you were too busy to see that in the physical and then your dream state shows it to you like i feel like you really do see things that maybe you weren't supposed to or you hear information that maybe you weren't supposed 
post to not just about people that you know but maybe even things to do with the government and stuff like that it's almost like i'm seeing somebody and like i don't know if this was someone's dream but i'm literally being shown somebody walking through like a what looks like a really old day mansion and looking through doors which is almost like people's subconscious and you're like unaware that it's even people's subconscious and every time you're opening the door you're just seeing something you sh you know like physically you shouldn't be seeing but also it's uncovering a truth for you so you may have found things out about celebrities that maybe they weren't honest about or like you know things higher up like i'm not gonna get into that in this reading but like we know the, the weird things that go on in certain areas of the world i'm not gonna get too deep and you know be the conspiracy theorist here but i feel like you're aware as much as i'm aware of the things that go on and i feel like maybe you've seen it and, and covered it in certain dreams um so that's something that i'm being told as well and again even just like friends and family like they may say something to you but then it's like your higher self's like mm, no i need to i need to just drop some gems in the dream and then i feel like in your dream you'll hear a conversation or see something about that person and maybe the next time you wake up you go oh that wasn't true it was true listen to your dreams and make sure you write them down i feel like maybe like an ex may have not have told you why the relationship ended you were left hanging on a thread and then the minute you came back into your energy and in, in your dream you saw why it ended they may even come to you in a dream and be like look i'm not gonna say in the physical but i can tell you from my high self to you this happened like i feel like that happens as well pile two i feel like the way no, no one can get things past you because of your psychic abilities in the physical i feel like it happens in the dream state as well if you're not going to find out in the physical you'll find out through your dreams um and even when things happen quite cryptic in your dreams um it's still is a part of something that you're trying to understand that you're uncovering a truth from something is what i'm trying to say um because you may play out this is weird to put into words you may play out real life events in 3d but play them out in the 4d where they're a little bit more ungrounded you know what i mean so like what could be um how do i explain this what could be a literal argument in the 3d that could like plan out you'll act it out in the 4d as like a warning or to see it deeper but instead of an argument it's like a full-blown war or it's like um a dance battle or something like that but the, the the motions of why it's happening are there so taking away the like the color and the wavy parts of it and the trippy parts of it look at what's going on there's an essence of reading between the lines with your dreams as well because you have very cryptic vivid dreams that are like movies but instead of over analyzing all the crazy stuff look at what people are saying what they're not saying and how they're moving and what certain things stand for because i feel like coding in your dreams is something that you may want to look into and really looking at why certain things are happening because a lot of your answers are there but I feel like you may be looking at the crazy stuff and not just the everyday stuff. I hope that makes sense. Um, how can I explain it? I had a I had a dream. It was like a lucid dream. I'll explain this dream to you and to show you what I mean. Right? I had this lucid dream, and just when my cat was with me, is he behind me? No, he's not behind me. Just when my cat was with me, but it was a kind of like Caroline. So we'd come between different worlds with me, right? And I'd said to Jasper, um, going into my dream, I said, "Come on, let's go to the astros." And I start lucid dreaming. And as I'm lucid dreaming, I'm going through this airport thing, right? As I'm going through the airport thing, um, I'm being shown on the screen like 3D, 4D, 5D. Like, where do you want to go? And I was like, let's go 4D. Like, let's go to the <laughs> get go to the fourth dimension. Let's do it. So I go through. And as I look in the corner of my eye, there's like this guy who looks like a proper trickster. And like any, like a, an even evil villain would, the weird curly mustache, top hat, tall and skinny with a suit like very wiry like how they try to like make them look in the movies right and he's watching me watching me move from like 3d to 4d in my lucid dream and i can see him and i thought i'm not gonna approach him i don't care enough so i go walk in with jasper and he comes up to me and he's just like looking at me and he's trying to like hide what his agenda is and i turned to him and i said even if you don't tell me what your agenda is I'm psychic in the 3D, so in the 4D, I'm going to read you even more clearer. So you can either tell me what the agenda is, or I'm just going to tap into you and you can tell me. And then when I was tapping into his energy, it was like he was watching me because I was aware of like the different dimensions. And he was showing me with his energy how the collective 
we all come together we can all jump timelines by putting our consciousness together and shift timelines together and jump to a higher vibration and the whole collective is constantly doing that anyway um and every individual soul can jump timelines by just their thought process and aligning with it. And he was like, I'm trying to stop everyone from collectively coming together to do it because that way you're less easier to control. And I was like, well, I, I remember saying to him, like in that like dream, I remember saying, well, that's a bit stupid coming to me because you're not going to stop me from doing it. And he was like, yeah, I know, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just watching you. I'm just watching you. It was like that sort of energy. And when I woke up, I was heavily focusing, not on what he told me, but I was focusing on the weird top hat that he had. The funny thing is where I was going from 3D to 4D to 5D. I was focusing on all that, forgetting what he literally said to me in that dream and what he'd shown me about jumping timelines. So the reason I've shown that story with you is to say focus on words that are being said and actions that are being done instead of all the crazy and colorful things around it because i feel like that's where your messages are going to be that was just something that came through and that was coming through with the moon card because it's like i feel like you guys uncover a lot a lot of good gems but don't worry about the sparkly color of it worry about how it makes you feel do you understand what i mean that's something that's coming through Okay, so now I'm going to pull the Blind Spot Oracle cards. Um, this basically shows us, pile number two, what we're not seeing. That's why I love these cards. I used to use them a lot when I was like doing a lot of healing work. 33 on the clock, by the way, if you guys have been seeing that number. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what these cards, that's what I used to use these cards for. So I thought it would be perfect to use for like your dreams um, to see what we're not seeing in the spread. So pile number... Um, Pal number two, please, spirit guides. What are pal number two's dreams trying to tell them? What are pal number two's dreams trying to tell them? What are my pal number two's dreams trying to tell them? Oh. Okay, so is that number two or number one? I'm sure that's number two. So we have number two here. Pop that by here. Um, I'll get the other one and then I'll tell you their meanings in a second. Pile number... Pile number two. You're so connected to the higher arms when you sleep. Like, I know we all do, but I just feel like you... You're like an explorer. You're more aware of what's going on than most people would be able to comprehend. Pile number... Oh god, I'm here in spirit. Um, oh, we have twenty as well. We have number twenty as well. I'm here in spirit by um Beyonce, the song Spirit that she did for uh, Lion King. That's something that just came through, and she sings Spirit, let the heavens open. Um, that's something that's coming. Okay, guys. So the two cards that we have here, we have self con concept. That's the card number two, and the number the card number twenty is you don't know but you think you know. So with self-concept, what is an example of self-concept? The ego, the way we currently look at the world. And I feel like your dreams allow you to see beyond this physical and see that there's much more because a lot of the time I'm being told you wake up scratching your head, like what did that even mean? Could that even be possible? That doesn't even make any sense. Is that, you know, is that a timeline? What was happening? Did spirit really, like, give me a message there? Was that really a psychic premonition? Like, how did that even happen? I feel like your confirmation that there is more to life than the physical really does go on in your dream state. Um, there's a lot of activity that goes on there. And I feel like it awakens your own self-concept, not just within yourself and who you are, but the world in general. Whether it's seeing past lives and realizing there's much more to you than just this physical being that you're just in, more to you than just this incarnation. I feel like you pick up so much in your dreams and see so much in your dreams that your own self-concept shifts and changes as well as you may even get dreams of how people view you through other people's eyes and that changes your self-concept as well as the world again like this is how I viewed the world before I've just had this crazy dream and now I view the world this way I viewed plants like this but in my dream I was shown plants like this and now I have a completely different concept of what they are because I was just shown it and that's something that comes through and sometimes you're not even aware of it through the dream itself it's just a DNA activation that happens within you uh, you just wake up looking at something different because it happened while you were asleep you may not have been able to imagine like remember your dream from that point and with the card number 20 you think you think you know but you don't know I'm being told that like 
even when your human essence is fixating on something because of your own self-concept, the higher self comes through to help you remember certain things while you're diving into your Akashic Records and allows you to remember these things so you can really change the way the way the way you look at the world because the, your view of life is always changing as you alchemize anyway but i feel like your dreams have a big role to play i feel like the more that you go further in your dreams and connect to that i feel like the veil thins for you and i feel like you see more to life um i feel like they're a brilliant portal to, to the other realms um and i feel like for you guys specifically i feel like coding your dreams or just writing your dreams down is something you're going to be wanting to do it because even in regards to your own waking life you may even go into like working with dreams working with going into the subconscious working with going into like astral traveling and things like that you may be a coach for that again i'm being shown dolores canon again there's something about that hypnosis like there's a lot of things coming in there that i feel like you may be like a pro at because you did it in other lifetimes um so that's something that's coming through Pile number two, please, for guides. Tap me into the collective of my pile number twos. Tap me into the collective of my pile number twos, please. What do we have here? The mouse. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. I feel like a lot of you guys, your dreams will set you straight. You're confused about something. You'll get the answer in your dreams. But again, like when I was telling you about that story of like that being that was showing me why, why it was watching me and stuff like that instead of focusing on what he'd said to me in the dream I was focusing on what he was wearing why he looked like that I was focusing on why he was individually looking at me and focusing on me I was focusing on those things and not the actual concept of what I realized in the dream which is what I was told so there's something about forget the colors of what people were wearing and why they were like think of what it made you feel like what did that mean to you what were they saying what did that mean to you there's like an essence of that coming through as well to kind of read between the lines how did you feel when they said that what what did you take away from that um rather than dissecting every little thing and being told i've started shuffling again with these cards and i didn't mean to so let me pop these down and get the other ones that i was going to use which is the rose oracle um pile number pile number two please spirit guides what am i oh my god let me grab your cards guys they flipped over onto the floor okay oh my hair okay pile number Pile number two, please, for guides. Pile number two. What are my pile number two's dreams? I'm trying to tell them. The return. A new story. You decide. Alignment. It's coming together. Yeah, I just feel like you wake up to your Akashic Records more. And I feel like you're able to unlock new memories, new gifts. And they help you in your waking life. Move on to other timelines. With all this fire energy, it almost is like a portal that opens you up to another timeline. But it activates in your sleep. Literally. That's something that I'm being told. A new story. You're guided through life, through your dreams. Your dreams play a heavy influence on you. A heavy influence on you. The crowning at the back of the deck. Initiation, threshold, birth, rebirth, a seat at the table. Yeah, you're slipping through dimensions. You're literally slipping through dimensions and remembering. Having initiations, having activations. You remember it all when you wake up. Or your body does when your physical brain can't. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. It's like you're that one elder that takes their um the plant medicine, gets all of these downloads through the plant, and then says it to the tribe. But it's like you're the person, you're the human being that connects to the Akashic Records and the higher realms through your dreams and then uses that and like uses that activation or uses that message or uses your intuition um to propel you forward in the physical world that can then help others. 
you feel like that sort of elders and i feel like maybe in past lives you've had dreams where like you were that elder that took on the plant medicine you were that elder that went out and you were that person that went out and looked for food and brought it back to like you're, you it's like you're that but for like other human beings or your own soul tribe in this lifetime or just other people like i just feel like that's something that you are deciding to do but instead of like plant medicine it's like oh how can i do it in this lifetime how do i keep up with the time sort of thing and then it's like okay well i'll do it in my dreams because I feel like you've worked, I, I feel like in other incarnations you've lucid dreamed and you may even like cross over into like other t other lifetimes that you've had when you're lucid dreaming. I hope this makes sense. Like I'm literally being shown someone lucid dreaming to a timeline when they were lucid dreaming before in another life. That is tripping me out, but it's something I'm being shown. Really tripping me out, but for for someone it's gonna resonate. For if it doesn't resonate for you, that's fine. It's already tripping me out. But for someone, someone's gonna be like, "Oh my god, that's happened." So let me know if that was you, because I just got told to say that. Pile, um, two please spirit guides. My pile twos. What are my pile number twos dreams trying to tell them? Sailboard. Do not fight the wind learn to sail with grace i feel like you'll learn how to manifest through your dreams as well i feel like you're lucid dreaming you're realizing that everything's coming to you naturally and then you're learning to bring that into the physical again if you're not lucid dreaming already i feel like you'll do it um you'll learn to do it moving moving forward that is something that i'm being told pal number two do not do not fight the wind learn to sail with grace because when you, i don't know if you've ever lucid dreamed but like everything just comes naturally like everything comes naturally i was lucid dreaming the other day and i was like where do i want to go i wanted to go to the supermarket just to buy food because i like to do that like I, I just wanted to do that i wanted to look around the supermarket and i was just walking around putting things in my trolley and paying for them because money is energy and i just thought it was really cool and then when i woke up it made me realize so strongly as well like how we can do that in the physical realm it's just a bit slower <laughs> you know what i mean so I, I don't know it's just something that i feel like you learn if you know you know but i just feel like that's something that you're learning or, or have, have already learned um you're learning how to manifest through your dreams and how easy it is to just bring energies to you when you're manifesting it's being in that energy of receiving and just becoming it um which we're able to do better in the higher realms because we don't have the binding of our physical bodies and i feel like it's teaching you to manifest. That's something I'm being told. Pile number two. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Tapping into the collective of my pile number twos. What are pile number two's dreams trying to tell them? Create the unexpected. Yeah, what was I saying about the dream state? Create the unexpected. I feel like your dreams help you to see beyond the physical, dive deeper than what you're trained to already be doing in the physical. That's what your dreams are doing. They're, tr they're, they're helping you. It's almost like a training ground as well to see beyond the physical. That's why your higher self likes you to see certain dreams sometimes because it's like, look how well you manifested. Look how you maneuvered with the moon card reverse. Look at the actual truth of what's going on here. How do you want to move knowing this truth? Um... And I feel like that guides you in your own soul's mission. With this, this fiery energy here, that's what guides you. Um, yeah, 100%. So for you, pal, too, I feel like what your dreams are trying to tell you, they're showing you the map of like how to move forward. They're showing you the map of your Akashic Records. They're showing you how to move. They're showing you how to manifest. They're showing you the truth of situations. And... I just feel like they're activating, they're helping you activate certain psychic gifts, they're helping you activate certain parts of your personality, they're helping you activate those sides of yourself, past lives, memories and things like that, that's what your past lives are doing, pile number two, 100%, really, really interesting read, and the fact that you literally chose the whale spirit and they dive so deep and you go so deep to the point that your higher self is like whoa i don't think we should remember this just yet i don't think we should have any recollection of this yet because the brain won't be able to comprehend but every so often you like peel off another layer and go a little bit deeper and you wake up and you're like oh my goodness you know you're like wow <laughs> like that was i don't even know how to get my brain around that that's insane um 
yeah and I feel like you're shown stuff I feel like your higher self like it's like I know I really shouldn't be doing this but I feel like it's something I just want to uncover um so I'm gonna remember this little part I had a dream um I don't know if I should say this oh I don't know if I should say this should I say it Oh, I wouldn't have been shown it otherwise. I think I should say it. It's a bit of tea. Um, think of a really famous, a little bit overrated family in America, celebrity-wise. Not going to name names. I had a lucid dream where I went to a... Oh, should I say this? I'm going to say it. I had a bit of a lucid dream where I went to... It looked like a get together of theirs, right? They didn't know I was there. I was just observing it. And uh, I have to be really careful how I word it. But there was a really messed up thing going on where I don't know if you've seen The Purge, where the rich people would buy the poor people and take their anger out and things like that. But they were literally doing that. And I don't really know what the agenda was, but I witnessed it and I felt everything. And since then, these particular girls, I can't look at them. Whether it was real or not, you can bypass that. Like, oh yeah, that was just like a dream for you. But I remember everything so vividly that even when I look at them now, I feel very uncomfortable because something within me is like, it's not far from the truth. It may not be all the truth. It may be a bit distorted what you were shown because it was a dream. And I feel like little things like that for you, pal, too, with the moon reverse, it happens for you. I don't know why I felt called to share that, but I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it would resonate with you, like you've seen stuff like that, too. And I felt quite comfortable then to say that, okay, this I've seen this before. Um, but yeah, very strange. And I feel like you see bizarre things, but I feel like there's a meaning to it. Your higher self's always filtering and bringing little bits of truth down to you and little bits of past life memories and things like that um 100 percent, very much so you dive very deep in your dreams listen to your dreams don't second guess your dreams write them down especially when you feel like there is a meaning to it hold on to that and write it down and ask spirit maybe to bring you more clarity in another dream i'm being told very interesting read pal number two very very interesting i really enjoyed this reading very um we went pretty deep pretty deep um but yeah i really hope that this reading brought you clarity and i hope you enjoyed this reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what your dreams are trying to tell you. So you guys chose the amethyst apple. I'm gonna pop that over here and we are gonna get straight in. I'm gonna start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle cards. So spirit guides, can you tap me into the collective of my pile number threes? The minute I'm tapping into your collective, I'm literally being shown you sleeping like you're asleep your physical body is asleep while that's happening i'm literally being shown like either ancestors or spirit guides performing energy work over you to help cleanse your being i don't know if you're working through um healing something within maybe your physical body or even your emotional body spiritual body whatever the case maybe i'm hearing some of you guys are going through dark night of the soul um i'm hearing some of you guys are going through kundalini awakening when that happens sometimes like physical illnesses and things can come up as well it happened for myself stuff like that happens and I, I i'm just being shown like you're going through either a transition or you're healing something but even when you're asleep like your spirit guides are around you doing energy work and and helping heal and and um helping you cleanse even if it's just like purging old emotions and things like that i do see that that happens i'm seeing a lot of like spirit like around you while you sleep in that sense and if you have any animals you'll probably find that when you sleep they like to be around you like your cats may want to sleep around you a lot of the time or your dog may or you know whatever animals you have they may want to be around you a lot there's, there's a feeling of that like people come in to help help you cleanse um while you are you know in the astrals like that's something that i was just shown um pile number three please spirit guides pile number three pile number three please spirit guides tap me into the collective of my pile number threes what are their dreams trying to tell them what is my pile three's dreams trying to tell them we have the seven of pentacles okay 
what a power three's dreams trying to tell them as you guys probably know especially with my like um stassi readings or whenever i do akashic record readings and i talk about the higher self i always say time doesn't exist because it doesn't and when we think of past lives future lives they're not really past the future lives at all they're alternative lives because everything's happening all at once and sometimes we can have crossovers but there's something very pivotal pivot <laughs> pivotal there's something very um important going on in this physical incarnation right now like there's almost this energy of um you're working through something right now which is not only big for just this physical incarnation but it's big for your soul's literal growth um which it's almost like you may in this lifetime be healing a collective of karmic wounds that you may not have been able to heal in other lifetimes and now you're finally getting around to healing them all it doesn't even feel like that do you know what it feels like it feels like you've been healing karma throughout different incarnations for a long period and you're wrapping it up in this lifetime cleansing it out in this lifetime the final kind of um cords so that you can begin anew in this lifetime so there's like a really big shift and i almost feel for you guys that I feel like it's a shift you're currently going through otherwise they would not be mentioning it as i'm tapping into your energy but i'm being told that your earlier life is going to look a lot different to your later life or whatever phase or whatever age that you are while you're going through this phase and you'll know what i'm talking about it's an awakening a kundalini awakening a, a very big ego death or just something potent when you're doing a lot of shadow work to heal something but it's 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 deep because it isn't just I'm healing this or I'm healing this or this was from my ancestral line like you've been trying to heal this within your energy for some time like and it's coming to wraps I'm hearing Tanache song it's a wrap it's coming up into like a wrap now so that you can jump elsewhere and it's almost like this incarnation for you you're going to live two different incarnations in this lifetime like like I said the time before this awakening the time before this purge or the time before this shift is going to look a lot different to the to the time period afterwards that's something that I'm being told there's like a huge shift character development it's almost like a part of you is dying but not dying it's just transforming um that's something that I'm being told and I feel like a lot of your other lives like a lot of your other um I don't even know how to explain this a lot of the emphasis for your literal soul right now is being put on this physical incarnation and there's like spirit guides around you helping you clear similar to pile number one but i feel like pile number one was more i'm um, healing ancestral karma this is something that i'm working through whereas with you guys it's like i'm literally i don't know whether you guys have heard of like soul walk-ins i have mentioned it before you guys may identify with that where one soul opts out of a physical body the other one walks in or the um how do i explain it the less developed part of the soul walks out so the higher self walks in but it still feels like a walk-in there's an energy of that too and i i just feel like when while you're sleeping at the moment there's a lot of spirit around you helping you cleanse helping you purge aid in this helping you find comfort like that's something that's going on and i feel like during REM state you're aware like there's this feeling of like in REM state i can feel spirit around me i can even hear words being spoken to me i can see visions of spirit in REM state or i can see spirit like moving about my space um quite vividly i'm catching them in the corner of my eye um I, I, just as i'm falling to sleep or just as i'm waking up there's a lot of activity in those time periods because you're in between realms and you're able to be aware kind of of what's going on and that's something that i'm being told for whoever needs that so let me pull one more card we'll get into it one of my pal three's dreams trying to tell pal three what are their dreams trying to what are my pal three's dreams trying to tell pile number three upright or upside down upside down okay we have the emperor upside down reverse and we have the knight of cups okay why have we got the seven of pentacles okay you may be having a lot of past life dreams and very similar to i think it was pile number one I was saying to pal number one, while they were healing, um, whatever wounds that were going on in their subconscious, and I'm saying it because it, it's something that you're doing as well, very similar. Um, while you're healing, 
in the 4D, in the other realms, when you're astral traveling, when you're sleeping, I feel like karmic wounds are being acted out like they would have done in your physical body. They're acting out in the 4D and in, in your dream state to trigger emotions within you to help you heal. But it's happening at a, at a more rapid pace because it's in the 4D where everything isn't as physically concrete. And let me explain it a bit deeper so I can make it make sense. In the 3D, when we incarnate, we need to work through karma. So we recruit certain souls, parts of our soul tribe souls. We've had other lives where then it's like, I've got to work through this karma. Do you want to work through it with me? We can be in a connection. You can trigger this wound with me. I can trigger this wound with you. And then that will help my soul's growth. And I will develop more into who I'm supposed to be. And the other soul will be like, yeah, you'll trigger each other. It could be a karmic relationship. It could be something like that where you learn a lot. Then that soul goes one way your soul goes the other way but you've both expanded within yourselves and you've grown in your dreams you are enacting i feel like you're acting out same the same wounds that have been happening in the 3d with the the higher selves of these other souls that would have triggered you in the 3d to help trigger you in dream state to help these emotions come out so you may be having a lot of dreams of people from the past people from your childhood you may have dreams of people completely new but they're making you feel emotions that you felt um in the physical world like abandonment wounds things like that so you may be having dreams of like an ex coming back and wanting to be with you and then you're waking up and you're missing them but it's having you then when in your waking life while you're missing them identify that emotion of loss so that you can purge it you may have fears of being abandoned so in a dream you're being abandoned by maybe a dog or a family member or something like that so that when you wake up you can feel the emotion and heal it you may have fears of um losing money you may have fears of um uh a house like burning down you may have fears of um losing let's say good lucks or something like that and instead of it having to be so permanent in the 3D of you transmuting and healing it, it's happening in the 4D so you still experience it to heal and cleanse it. And I feel like there's, I'm hearing like some of you have been having dreams of your teeth falling out. Some of you have been having dreams of you getting kidnapped. Little dreams where you're feeling maybe out of control. Dreams where you're feeling like upset or hurt or taken advantage of. They're mirroring wounds that you have had either in past lives or in your current 3D so that you can heal them. Um, because there's a lot of work being done currently in your energy that you're working through. And the reason that we have the Seven of Pentacles here is because I feel like for certain gifts to bloom in this lifetime, for certain levels of empowerment to be reached in this lifetime, for certain levels of consciousness to be reached in this lifetime, you planted these seeds incarnations ago, like five incarnations ago, six incarnations ago, and you've been working and working and working through all of these incarnations and in this lifetime they're coming into full bloom and I feel like while you're releasing karma while you're releasing all of these ones that are being triggered in your dreams I feel like new spiritual gifts are coming through again new levels of empowerment new ways of seeing the world new ideas of love they're all coming through and they're blooming in this incarnation while you're letting go um and cutting back the weeds that's why the seven of pentacles is here so even in dream state while you're healing what's i'm almost being shown somebody like healing a lot but then in dream state i feel like there's spirit guides around you and they're helping you heal and then they're like sending and downloading new information to you so you have a new idea of what love is you have a new idea of what manifesting is what connection to spirit is and they're being downloaded like you may wake up and have a completely different view of the world that you did maybe the night before or you've always felt like you didn't like marriage you didn't care for marriage because of maybe triggers maybe in a past life you were um maybe in a past life you were in a marriage and it was you felt trapped so maybe you'll have that dream of that you'll heal it through that dream you'll wake up thinking i don't want to get married that you know it's triggering that wound that you had within you i don't want to get married i'll feel trapped and then as the days go on and you have more and more dreams while you're traveling in the astral realms i hope you're following it it makes sense um and being told that spirit is downloading new ideas of what marriage is so then one day you wake up and you're like you know what actually i wouldn't mind getting married because i have a completely different view of it now so there's little things like that you know what i mean where you're purging these emotions and then once it's all cleared out and you've dealt with it in the physical and you've dealt with it in, in the higher realms i feel like new bits of information are coming through 
You may wake up and all of a sudden it's like, how on earth am I hearing spirit this loudly? It wasn't this strong before. Because where there was fear of maybe hearing spirit before, it's transmuted. And now you have no problem listening to spirit and hearing that. Or the same with, you know, clairvoyancy and seeing spirit and things like that. that. That's just something that's coming through. So I feel like you are healing currently through your dreams. That's why you're having a lot of dreams that are triggering emotions and triggers within you. But you will probably, some of you guys have already noticed your view of life has changed recently and it's because you're having new downloads coming to you um while you're sleeping it's happening i'm wondering what the noise is and my cat is maneuvering about somewhere i can hear him i don't know where he is though but that's something that's happening why is the three of cups here please spirit guides why have we got the three of cups um what are pal number three's dreams trying to tell them why have we got the three of cups yeah i feel like there's a lot of spirit around you right now it's not even that i feel like there's a lot of souls that you've had either this incarnation with or other incarnations with and they're around you and i feel like you're seeing them in your dreams like if you're finding that you're having companions in your dreams or people that you haven't seen before it's either people in this life um that were in another incarnation with you so they're acting out as um their past life self instead of the one you know what in this incarnation a lot of confusion but i like i feel like i'm not making sense when i'm saying it but then at the same time i'm making sense i don't know um but yeah i feel like souls and friendships in this current incarnation they're showing up in your dreams as people maybe from your last incarnation it's the same person just different face i feel like that's been happening for you i feel like you've been having a lot of visits from like ancestors and stuff like that because they're all kind of like scurrying around you to help kind of like assist you in this transformation it does feel like something like a soul walk in or you're bringing a higher level of consciousness into your physical body and while that's happening i feel like there's a lot of preparation even in spirit and i feel like there's a lot going on then in the astral realms as a result and i feel like your activity in the dream world has been a lot stronger recently Recently, um because i feel like you've been witnessing that i feel there's such like crossovers happening because you're healing not only wounds from this incarnation or ancestral karma but you're healing wounds from like five incarnations ago and that's why there's a lot of souls coming around because i feel like maybe you decided to have a set of experiences with certain members of your soul tribe in this lifetime that were the reason for wounds in other lifetimes just so you could clear that unfinished business and I feel like they're scurrying around you right now to kind of aid you in the higher realms to help guide you to transmute in that so you can kind of like move forward um and have a kind of new slate sort of thing I feel like there's almost like a new wave of incarnations happening after this one but you're kind of like trialing it out towards the later end of your life and just manifesting and doing whatever it is that feels right for you and finding your own journey um moving forward as, as this new version of you so that when you do leave this world and you choose to incarnate again you'll have that you know brand new energy and you would have experienced it in the 3d in your waking world to know what you like and what you don't like and what you want to build on um that's something that i'm being told 100 percent um so you're having a lot of visitation from spirit in your dreams um you may even be feeling like i'm showing somebody like falling asleep and it's something that happens to me because of um as you guys know, I've been going through a Kundalini awakening now for about two years. Still ongoing. And it still happens to me, like, when I sleep, I'll be laying there. And then I just feel my root chakra feeling like it's, like, opening. And I'll just know when it's happening. And then I have to, like, lay straight. Like, I've learned now to, like, lay straight. And I'll just have these energies just shooting through my body and up through my crown. And I'll just get, like, loads of downloads. Or I'll just get loads of just... It's just, like, energy sometimes. Sometimes I can't even make sense of it. I've tried to just be an observer and just observe where the energies go in. But I feel like that's something you may be going through. That's why I feel like you may be going through a Kundalini awakening. Because there's, like, a just jolts of energy shooting through and up through your from your root chakra up through your crown and i feel like it's um it's bringing you to a higher level of consciousness is what i'm being told why have we got the emperor here um reversed please spirit guides why is the emperor here reversed okay i feel like especially in your dreams right now i feel like even the higher selves of people maybe that have done you dirty or the higher selves of like family members or even people that are the cause for maybe fears that you have in this life from other incarnations that that scurrying around you right now 
while you're healing as well to help you see the truth of certain situations because when you incarnate you incarnate with your higher chakras quite open and you have a very big beautiful heart but sometimes with that big beautiful heart you'll see the higher perspective of everything instead of looking at it on a physical lens of you're bad for me you shouldn't be around me that was actually wrong and labeling it like that and I feel like they're higher selves of these souls I feel like they're coming around you to help you in dream state see the truth of a situation even if it's something you don't want to see so it could be that you're having dreams of like an ex and finding out why they did what they did or you're having dreams of like maybe you're having psychic dreams where you're finding out things before they happen but you're seeing the truth of a situation or you're hearing conversations and dreams that are happening in the 3d to make you aware of things so you can actually see the truth of what's going on which could, will help you then be more discerning in the physical world and see things with a more balanced view of dark and light so you're able to dissect it from a more balanced state so that's something that's coming through as well do you see how the whole point of the reading is like these souls are ushering around you right now and it's 44 on the clock right now if you guys have been seeing 44 but these souls are ushering around you and helping you have these experiences in the 4d as well as they would have in the 3d to help you see the truth of situations put things to bed and finally tie up those loose ends so that when this garden's blooming which i feel like it already is you're able to like enjoy that and move forward as such and build upon that like there's a huge transition going on that these souls are helping guide, guide you through. And I'm being told for you not to be alarmed or scared when you're falling asleep. If you are feeling spirit, if it is keeping you up at night or you're worrying when you're feeling spirit around you, your spirit guide is saying literally just say out loud, I do not consent to any energies coming around me right now. I don't feel comfortable. Or you can even say, please, can you back up out of my energy for now? It's getting a bit much. Wait till I've fallen asleep. And they will do that. Um, but make sure that you say that. Because I just feel like, how yourself are you? are like, yeah, help help me cleanse. Or, you know, it's, it's almost like energy works being done. Like, help me clear this. And then it's like as it's happening and then in the physical world you're like oh my god stop no go away go away you know what I mean so it's like just say wait till I fall asleep because I'm also being told like as you're falling asleep you're you're having these waves of emotion as well like um I'm hearing somebody falling asleep and going no one's ever loved me no one's ever cared about me no one's ever felt that you know that way about me and what you're actually healing there is other incarnations where you felt that people didn't care for you and didn't love you and it's trickled into this life and I feel like I'm being told to say allow yourself to feel these emotions as you're falling asleep allow yourself to purge because while you're doing that while you're in your sleep there's cleansing going on when you wake up you'll feel a lot more fresh and there'll be a breakthrough within the next couple of weeks and I feel like you guys have experienced that as well I hope you're following yours goes a little um a little deeper and topsy-turvy and i feel like that's that's your reading i'm gonna get into the oracle cards now but that's your reading everything feels like upside down and flipped and there's just like there's such correlation to other lifetimes that it's all blending within and i'm even finding it hard myself and i love I love a bit of a challenge and even I'm finding it hard myself to like tie up the ends and make sense of what I'm being shown. So I hope I'm doing that correctly for you guys. Um, we have the Knight of Cups at the back of the deck um, as well. Why do we have the Knight of Cups at the back of the deck? I'm moving it out just because I'm going to do the Oracle cards. Why is the Knight of Cups your spirit guides? Why is that at the back of the deck? Yeah, I literally feel like you're pouring your cup into this river because you don't need it anymore you've learned that set of experiences and then i feel like spirits pull, pour in your cup back up so you can move forward on a new phase then that's something that i'm being told because behind it we have the five of swords which is walking away so i feel like you're walking away and cleansing everything that you've already learned and that you don't need anymore to make way for new emotional fulfillment in this incarnation because i feel like you're going to be quite abundant there's almost this feeling of like after this shift has like settled down the steering wheels in your hand in ways like i'm not saying certain fated things aren't going to happen i'm not saying that you're still not going to be following your life chat as such but i feel like there's going to be a lot more leeway for you as a soul because you're going to be aware of how to manifest and how to maneuver through the 3d while still keeping touch with spirit and i feel like you will have mastered that art. There's almost this feeling of, I want to give myself leeway to 
manifest and bring forth certain creations or certain um ideas or just to lose myself to find myself i want to just kind of like go on a little bit of a voyage and i feel like your high selves allowing that to kind of like commence um in the 3d and i feel like you'll really be looking at life then like oh my god like it's a proper playground like life's a, a proper playground that i can just manifest and do these things with like there's a feeling of you having a bit more leeway um not saying you won't be working through other karma not saying that you won't be um go into another set of experiences there's just gonna be a lot more leeway than there would have been beforehand because beforehand you would have been tied down by even your own old ego constructs of how life should be they're not going to be there anymore they would have been transmuted into something else um and the reason i'm talking about this incarnation that incarnation is because your dream state right now and what's going on in your dreams is helping and assisting the shift for what's going on in your physical life that's why they want me to talk about it um, pile, I'm using the um, blind spot oracle now, which will show me anything that maybe I'm not seeing. So pile number three. What is pile number three's dreams trying to tell them? Okay, so we have 20. I'll tell you what they mean in a second. Let me just put the other one on the other side and then I'll tell you what they mean. Pile number three, please, spirit guides. Pile number three. What are pile number three's dreams trying to tell them? What oh, flopped out? We have 46. Okay, okay, so the two cards we have here is 20, which is you don't know, but you think you know. And we have 46 here, which is the faulty compass. So when we're looking at you don't know, but you think you know, before this shift, I feel like you would have been maneuvering. I wouldn't say on autopilot, but a lot of your conscious reality was being, um, it was almost chained to your subconscious wounds. And I feel like you're aware of this. Um, I would like a relationship, but I'm connecting with emotionally unavailable people. And it's because it makes me feel safe because my parents were emotionally unavailable with me. And that's the only way I know connection. So it makes me feel safe. I don't know how to receive love. So when someone's coming at me ready to give me love, I don't know how to receive it. So I'm pushing it away um, because the person that's emotionally unavailable makes me feel more comfortable. And that's just one example. That doesn't have to resonate for you. I'm just thinking of one example. Um, but there's like, even in approach to like money, money is hard to come by and we have to work hard for it. And that's just the way it's always been. So your conscious reality was a reflection of that. You having to work 10 times hard to get even half back of what other people were getting. And you were kind of, I wouldn't say chained, but you were anchored into a particular paradigm because of the way that you were looking at life. And that was just the way that maybe you were brought up. That's just the way that your ego was created um, while looking at the world, which is that there's nothing wrong with that. However, going through this shift, going through this ego death, going through this um, Kundalini awakening, whatever it is that you've been doing, this, this shift that's been taking place, what you thought you knew is being transformed. What you thought you knew is going through its own dark night of the soul so you can look at it anew. So that moving into this new paradigm with this faulty compass, instead of going all the, way wrong, all the wrong directions because of the compass that you were holding was faulty because it was anchored into another paradigm, you're transforming so you have a brand new compass that is connected to a more healed and more balanced subconscious so in your conscious reality you can create um a much better life for yourself where you're not tied in with the old um where you're new like i said the old way of looking at love it's being transformed while you're sleeping it's being cleansed out of you and then you're going through these downloads of what love really is and you may be having dreams where you're happily married or happily in a beautiful connection so when you wake up you're like that's what i want that's my new idea of love because you've had that new idea of love downloaded as per your higher self as per your spirit guides helping download that in so that this new compass is no longer faulty because now you're looking for love that can fill up your cup the way you'd fill up theirs and you're not settling for any less so your whole paradigm of your subconscious is being shifted while you're sleeping so that this faulty compass is being fixed to be able to help help you navigate better more connected to your higher self because maybe before the way you were creating as part of your subconscious was connected to a wounded wounded inner child was connected to a part of you that feared certain aspects whereas now this compass is being rewired up to your higher self so that you have a more deeper knowing and, more, and a more deeper meaning of what life is so you can create more abundance without the limits of your ego so that's something that's happening while you're sleeping very interesting 
but i love it <laughs> very interesting but i love it so let's pull some more um oracle cards pile number three i love this pick a card reading pile number three um what are pile number three's dreams trying to tell them chimpanzee use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problems or get answers to your question so maybe before again like i was saying there's this feeling of like i'm only seeing the light of things i'm giving people the benefit of the doubt i'm i'm only seeing the light i'm only seeing the higher aspect and that's great to see the higher aspect however we do forget sometimes when we're connected to spirit that these earthly incarnations are for us to master the physical realm. We've already mastered the higher realm because we come from source. We're mastering the physical realm when we incarnate here. So when our souls are incarnate in here, ways of which went in the 5D, 6D, they're of course meant to be implemented and grounded into the physical world. But we need to remember that in the 3D, there is duality. And only focusing on the higher aspects of life the sweeter part of people that the higher selves of people only focusing on that is having us ignore the whole reason that we came to incarnate which is the duality of a human being people being sliced sometimes are manipulative people acting out of their wounds and ego sometimes and we have to understand that and implement that to find that balance for us to maneuver and master the physical realm so maybe before it was all intuition but then even though you were following your intuition you were seeing the lighter side of people you were seeing in the more brighter side without with forgetting that there's a lot of pain going on in the world right now and it's coming from somewhere and we have to acknowledge the dark so i feel like maybe when you're dreaming you're having a lot of these um emotions play out so you can acknowledge your shadow acknowledge those darker sides because as a human being we're supposed to have opinions we're supposed to have a level of an ego when we kill the ego we're not actually killing it dead we're transforming the ego but the ego's still there we're supposed to have likes and dislikes we're supposed to maybe have people rub us up the wrong way because we're here to experience separateness and to experience duality and to have duality there needs to be a yes or no black or white there needs to be that so there needs to be the lighter aspect seeing the higher self as well as that really hurt me i don't think you're the type of person that i would like in my life because you keep hurting me i've seen the higher side of you you're not living up to that potential i think it's time to cut you off and i feel like you're master in the physical realm and working through these wounds and accepting your shadow and healing your shadow so that you're able to see a life with a dual nature which is needed and necessary for you to move forward in this incarnation and that's what's happening in your dream state um new levels of consciousness being downloaded where you're able to feel more safe being in your physical body and not bypassing the dark that's something that's happening as well um let's pull some more oracle cards not that you would bypass it before it's just you you were coming from a higher realm where it's pure love everyone acts out of love like everyone is becoming the best version of themselves there's no secrecy and manipulation so while you you were incarnating when you were connected to your your heart chakra and the higher chakras it was just normal for you to see the light in people however you're mastering the physical realm so there had to be this shift where you were mastering your physical body and being like well you know what there are some human beings who aren't choosing to act that way and i have got to accept it and i have to accept the part of me that doesn't want to accept it so that's what's happening right now there's a lot of filtering and shifting and alchemizing going on in your dream state um a lot of downloads going on um pile number It's like you've been planting these seeds in other incarnations, but it's like you haven't wanted to allow the rain to pour down to help the flowers bloom because it was like you were almost looking at the rain like it's negative. It's negative. We can't look at the rain. You know, the flowers are going to bloom anyway. And I feel like you're allowing the shadow self of you to come out so you can acknowledge so that other parts of you can bloom. And I feel like you're allowing the rain to come down for the seven of pentacles to bloom into abundance for you. So you can accept duality because there is duality in everything. Um, pile number three. Very interesting read. Pile number three. What are pile number three's dreams trying to tell them? We have held. 
Uh, we were talking about the garden and it says here, sureness of the soil. Sureness of the soil, unseen help, support, community. And that's going right under the three of cups. So what was I saying here? We have unseen help, support and community. You have spirit guides ushering around you while you're sleeping to help you literally sort out this garden and allow these flowers to bloom. That's literally what's happening for you right now. That's why you're having a lot of visitations or you're having dreams of people from your past or friends from your past. It's They're helping you alchemize. They're coming in to help aid you and help you cleanse and help you alchemize. Um, that's why if you're, if you're like, I keep dreaming of my ex. I keep dreaming about this friend that hurt me 10 years ago. I keep dreaming of, of my father or my mother or something like that. It's like your subconscious is like, oh, there's, there's wounds here. Let's play them out in the 4D so we can trigger the wounds to help me heal because you'll heal at a more rapid a rapid pace um the same way that you can manifest at a more rapid pace in the other dimensions you can heal at a more rapid pace in the other dimensions um so there's almost like <laughs> it's like your car's broken down but not necessarily it's just that there's other souls coming to jump start the car with you like it just feels like that not that you've broken down it's just like okay my old way of living is being transformed um, let's jump start onto a new paradigm and a lot of activities happening in your dream state um uh, we've had two cards that have fallen for you even though there's supposed to be one we've got two um let's see what we got we have birds of paradise oh my god look what we have birds of paradise and back on a new adventure they're helping you through your dreams cleanse and clear out so you can be on this new adventure and what was i saying about your incarnate your the rest of this incarnation once this settles down being a lot different to your first what was i saying about that oh my god and then we have pia do not fear the unknown find serenity in the uncertain maybe in the past pile number three you feared change you feared newness you feared this new journey because a lot of the wounds that you were going through, a lot of the souls that you had that were maybe being ripped away from you, that were walking away from you and you didn't know why, they are relevant to your old incarnations. They are relevant and those wounds with them are relevant to your old incarnations and pains and wounds that you had then. And there was a part of you not wanting to let them go because you still wanted to play out the same stories with them even in this incarnation because it was like I don't want to let them go I don't want to lose them because I'm hearing the two Argita song by I don't know his name I forgot his name but the song from Encanto where the two butterflies go separate to reunite again and what I'm being told is so you were controlling a lot in your earlier life so that people wouldn't leave and everything was staying how it was however you're learning through this transformation to let go because these souls aren't going anywhere you're gonna have any other incarnations with them but you're gonna be playing out different roles and by letting go of the connections that didn't work out in this incarnation um and the other incarnations you're making room and space for in your other incarnations to build a more beautiful love with certain people build a new beautiful friendship and family dynamic with people moving forward and that's something that's happening really really interesting but that's something that i'm being told it's like you're, you, there's almost this feeling of i don't want to let go of my soul family um i need to hold on to them in the 3d i can't let them go but letting them go and transforming you're making space for them to come right back in and have a beautiful set of experiences maybe in this lifetime if they decide to heal but if not in other lifetimes and that's something that I'm being told for you guys. You're learning to let go, to usher in all of this new. I keep hearing that song and I feel like it would help you if you haven't heard it to Argeet Us. Um, um, Encanto. Just go on the Encanto playlist and it comes up. Um, yeah, and, and the guy sings, um, oh, how does it go? It's time for you. Is my other phone? Up? Oh no, I haven't got my phone. Is that yeah? No, I was going to get the lyrics up. But it, they talk about like, you grow apart to reunite, wonders await you just on the other side. I don't remember much of the lyrics, but I know it's like, wonders await you on the other side. Um, and they're talking about letting go because you will come back at one point. Um, yeah, that's why all of these souls are ushering around you. It's like, we're not gone. We're literally still here. We're helping you heal and we're rooting for you so you can jump onto to the paradigm. We'll have another set of experiences when we're all in alignment. But for you, we're holding you back and it's just not meant to be that way. 
um you need to kind of like let go and they're all they're ushering you in in your dream state as well to like let go and helping bring you as much information as your soul needs to happily transmute it and let go of them I feel like you may even wake up crying like I miss this person I miss this person I want this person back what you know what's going on and I feel like there's even information that these higher selves are showing you in your dreams to bring you peace about why the connection broke down um maybe you were like why did this person leave and then they're bringing you information like this is why I left I'm showing you why I left I'm showing you part of my life so you can see why I left there's like a feeling of that coming through pile number Oh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Botanical Sea Temple. Blooming opportunities. What was I literally saying? It's like you're entering a new phase in this incarnation where you've completely cut ties with the old and spirits around you right now in your dreams, helping you go through these set of experiences so you can finally pull the weeds up. And enjoy this beautiful garden. Very similar to Palma 1, but also different. Because Pile 1, it was more karmic, um, ancestral karma. But with you guys, it's more, I'm literally having a new incarnation. I'm, I'm having a double incarnation right here in this one incarnation. That's what's happening for me right now. Big shifts. Big, 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 big shifts. Very interesting, Pile, um, pile number 3. Very interesting. So that's what I have for you. Pile number three, I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this brought you clarity. This was so interesting for me. I really enjoyed this. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it resonated. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, pal four, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what your dreams are trying to tell you. Now, before I even get into the reading, I was shown a lot of circus themes. I don't know why it may be something that's been coming up in your dreams lately, or it may correlate to your dreams in some sort of way. We'll see how it correlates to the reading in a second. But I was literally shown um, a lot of, like anything to do with a circus. And I was like, okay. And then as I was like, kind of like filtering deeper and going deeper i was literally hearing britney spears song circus and you know the lyric where she says there's only two types of people in the world the ones who entertain and the ones that observe i hear that and then i heard um promiscuous that song promiscuous and i heard love sex and magic by ciara and justin timberlake no idea why but there was almost this feeling of like theater and being in a show and things like that and i don't know what that's going to do with anything we'll we'll get into it but i don't know if that's been coming up in your dreams or something like that there's this feeling of like i'm being watched or i'm putting on a show or something like that i don't know there's something like that we'll see how it correlates but that's just something that i'm i'm kind of being shown for some reason so you guys chose the um green adventure i'm gonna pop it up in the corner and we are gonna get straight in I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle cards. Why am I being shown clowns? I'm being shown like playhouses and clowns and the joker and the, I don't know why I'm being shown that. I'm even being shown like someone doing tarot cards and things like that. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, pile number four, please, spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number fours. What is pile number four's dreams trying to tell what is my pal number four's dreams trying to tell them? Okay, wait there. Let me just grab. We have the six of pentacles. Okay. Have you been in a pile before? Um, pile four, when I've done like a Kashik record readings and things like that, or Stasi readings, and I was like, you work as a guide for other souls. Or like other souls may witness your current incarnation and like learn through you that's literally something that's coming through like i almost feel like you're a guide to other souls in other dimensions because we are multi-dimensional it's not just the physical incarnation um i feel like you are a guide but then i'm also feeling like there's souls almost like witnessing the incarnation that you're in before incarnating themselves to kind of get it get to grips with like cleansing karma and things like that We'll get into it, but that's just something that I was shown because with the Six of Pentacles falling down as well as the show energy, as you can see, it's like charity, giving to others. And there's this feeling of like, I'm 
yes, I'm incarnating. And yes, I'm even guiding souls in my current incarnation, but I'm also guiding souls in other realms too. And I feel like your dreams almost take um, take over that sometimes. Like I feel like you'll remember um, through your dreams, tapping into your Akashic Records and witnessing um, witnessing helping other souls and while witnessing helping guide other souls. Because we can guide souls from like past incarnations because time isn't linear so you may have dreams of like a scenario and you're not even in it but you're having a dream of like the 1930s and like you're guiding a girl through something and you're like I wasn't even in that dream what's going on but you were guiding a soul and you're tapping into your Akashic record memory of you guiding that soul that is literally what's coming through because <laughs> you've got I feel like you work as a guide you literally work as a spirit guide like very multidimensional, very evolved soul is what I feel you are. Um, yeah, I want to get deep. I need to get deeper into this. Um, pile number. Pile number four, please, spirit guides. Pile number four. Are you like the mother and father of friend groups? Or like your family look to you as some sort of guide or it's like right this isn't being done the right way let's do it a different way because this is causing harm for us all or maybe you've been working through ancestral karma like this isn't how we're supposed to be you're all in pain i'm gonna transmit this pain and i'm gonna set up a new grade or you're teaching siblings to do that maybe the oldest set of siblings or you just act like the oldest set of siblings you may have a lot of um you may have a lot of capricorn in your chat is something that i'm being told you don't have to it's just something that's coming through um so when you're sleeping, you're reviewing your Akashic Records and you're reviewing other soul's journeys because your part of your higher self is accompanying those journeys um, as a guide. So you're reviewing it in your brain and you're remembering it when you're waking up. Very interesting. Pile four, please, spirit guides. Pile number four, please, spirit guides. Um, what? Well, what, why does the circus theme have to come in then? Oh god, the cards just flipped as I said that too. What's going on? Let me um pick up the cards because they've just jumped all over the floor. When I'm seeing the circus, I'm hearing Britney Spears when she says there's only two types of people in the world, the ones that entertain and the ones that observe. <laughs> um and there's a meme about it, and it's like when Britney Spears I agree with what Britney Spears said when she said um the ones that entertain and the ones that observe and then she's like because i'm here to put on a show honey like it was like a meme like that and i'm just hearing that like there's almost this feeling of you guys like watch and learn watch and learn <laughs> like it, it just feels that way watch and learn it's reminding me of like avatar and like naturi who is part of the navi she has to teach jake how to be part of the Nav navi and move his avatar and connect to the forest and be one of them so there's almost this feeling of like hey souls like new souls or baby souls i'm gonna incarnate you pay attention so i can show you how to navigate this physical realm and show you what happens when you incarnate so you can get a bigger idea like there's almost this feeling of that um and you may have accompanied like certain souls even in your current incarnation um that may have not incarnated on earth very much but it was like you were a guide to them in some sort of way or you were just like a bit of like an earth angel to them in some sort of way um and helping them in in in, in some sort of sense or guiding them in some sort of sense like there's a feeling of that coming through um let's get deeper pile number four what are pile number four's dreams trying to tell them I almost feel when you dream, you're just reviewing your Akashic Records. You're viewing your Akashic Records and you're catching up. Emperor. Knight of Swords. Back of the deck, we have the Empress. All right. Okay. Why is the Knight of Swords your spirit guides? What a, what a pile number three's dream. Yeah. Oh my God, guys. I feel like... Wait. On top of your own soul mission, I feel like you're either being observed by certain souls that are younger than you or haven't had many incarnations, so they're watching what you're up to. Because with a knight of swords, he's rushing into something. It's like rushing into like conflict. He's like rushing into it. And I feel like you're here to 
bring a more gentler touch or bring a more stable touch because you've been around the black block on earth so when you're dreaming how does this even oh my god there's so many worlds blending in with each other this is hard for even my brain to comprehend when you're dreaming because time doesn't exist you're analyzing those same souls that are observing your current incarnation you're observing their lives and play, acting out as a guide for them like a vice versa to help them on their journey help them step into their empowerment help them reach certain points of that chart that they would have you know decided of you know, certain experiences when they incarnated because time doesn't exist because people think it's like oh i'm gonna incarnate in the 1500s and then i'm gonna incarnate in the 1600s it doesn't work that way because time doesn't exist so you can incarnate now and then you know 12 bc like it, that that can be how it is sometimes because when you're incarnating it's like your soul share and then you're projecting parts of yourself out to different timelines and lifetimes so it's like they're watching you in this incarnation master certain realms and then when they're incarnating you're playing as a guide and watching them so when you're sleeping you're reviewing not only your own akashic records and when you would have incarnated and things like that but you're also reviewing their progress because you are acting as a guide for them with the emperor card here and the whole point of it all is so that you know these souls can then incarnate and maneuver through earth so that we can all mass attain self-mastery and help bring earth into a higher consciousness collectively so there's a purpose to it it's not you're not just doing it for fun like there's a there's a whole purpose of these souls but it's almost like you're you may be like an ascended master that's incarnated or just like a you, you it's like you're just an old soul to earth you've incarnated a lot of times so it's like it would only be right for you to be a spirit guide of people that would incarnate on earth what is going on here this is really interesting i need to pull more cards because this is super super interesting you may have people say to you you're a wise old soul or you'll just pass on information like channel information and things like that and people are like how on earth did you even think of that in your brain and you're like i don't know it just comes to me because you've been around the block on earth like i feel like you know earth like the back of your hand literally that said you may know palmistry but it's like you you understand how to navigate through everything and alchemize the physical body the spiritual like you, you've learned how to do that and i feel like you're even guiding souls in this lifetime you may have like a spiritual business business you may be like a nutritionist helping people alchemize their physical body you may be a psychologist you may be like a counselor you may be like a social worker for like children you may work with children i'm being told you may be like a nurse a doctor um reiki master shaman like anywhere where you can guide people in a field but whatever it is that you're guiding people in you've already mastered in other lifetimes you're just choosing to incarnate to continue that process to help other souls that are just like you to into it too so when you're sleeping you're getting these downloads and you're reviewing your own akashic records um that will then aid you in your waking life super interesting let's go deeper please let's go deeper i'm gonna use the blind spot oracle because they this these they, la, 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 la. this deck shows what um you're not seeing basically um and it's my first time using it on my channel so that's fun um pile number four please spirit guides what are pile number four's dreams trying to tell them you've already even like it feels mastered a lot of the physical realm for your own soul's growth but it's like we're at a pivotal point at this point so i want to incarnate to like help like literally be a guide but in the physical form too like it's just not i'm hearing like it's more fun that way when you when you go on the journey in the physical form it's more fun that way so let's just do it that way it's it's a lot more fun um your soul actually likes to incarnate you're probably like i hate incarnate and likes don't say that i hate this place but your soul's like i'll say that of course but i really do like incarnating here it's really fun <laughs> like that's what i'm being told it's fun to go on the self-discovery and realize who you are instead of always knowing who you are because you're from the higher realms it's fun to, to be on that process it's 22 on the clock by the way it's 12 22 um so really it's i'm being shown two 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 so three twos um 
caught my eye so you may have been seeing it panel number four please spirit guides what are panel number four's dreams trying to tell them your card's fallen on the floor two seconds i got shorts on and my legs are sticking to the um chair it's not fun for me we have 38 and we have pile number four what are pile number four's dreams trying to tell them please for guides 16 i'll tell you the meaning now we have 16 as well okay okay so the two cards we have here you guys we have the card 38 which is reactivity we have 16 which is the card of control now when we think of reactivity when do we react to things when we're in the physical realm say now we get triggered we react to it you hurt me i don't like that you said that you hurt me and a lot of the times reacting to something just based off of a trigger that's just triggered us can lead to arguments can lead to, lead to conflict and if it's happening on a bigger scale it can even lead to war because it's a re it's a reaction to something right yes we're supposed to have opinions and all of that in this physical incarnation but being on the only seeing the darker side or only seeing the side of the shadow side of the trigger reacting to everything and allowing it to just take over us not only do those things that are triggering us have control over us but they can lead to a lot of dispute a lot of reckless decisions and when you're a newer soul incarnating on earth and understanding this whole oh my god i'm separate i'm a separate being and i'm, I'm an individual you can forget sometimes that you are more than just that individual and then it's like anyone who's doing anything that i don't like is wrong anyone that that is doing anything that i don't like is mean anything who I, is doing what i don't like is doing it wrong because only i see the truth in something right a lot of new souls will have that mentality as they maneuver in the physical world because they may not have that higher connection to spirit yet because that's what they, ha they haven't mastered to do that in the physical realm yet right and with control, they'll try and control the, the, the opinions of others, of other people's free will. They'll try and, try and control that. You're doing it wrong. You have to do it like me. You're doing it wrong. You have to do it like me. Whereas your soul is very advanced and your soul incarnating, I feel like you're not very reactive, at least at the point that I'm tapping into you. I feel like you've worked through a lot of your triggers where it's like that person's allowed their opinion. I don't need to tell them not to do that or do this because they're allowed their opinion. I respect it. There's a lot of like... I see the bigger picture. So I feel like these souls are watching your incarnation and watching how you react to things and how you allow things to trigger you. But instead of being mean to the other person or coming at the other person, you're looking at where it's triggering you to transmute. These souls are understanding that. And I feel like that's what you're helping these souls do. So there's almost this feeling of like your incarnations, there's a lot, not incarnations, your dreams. There's a lot of like conflict you may be witnessing in dreams or you're watching a lot of arguments happening in dreams or like, situations where there's two opposing sides and things like that because i feel like you're guiding other souls and how to um stand in their own essence and not fight you know what i mean light and dark are both dual in nature but essentially they're part of the same source and i feel like that's something you're teaching a wave of souls right now so i feel like a lot of your dreams are maybe people being mean to you you trying not to react like and it, it's almost like they're, they're watching even in the 4d you reenact these things in the higher realms in the 4d so they can like witness it and see how you'd kind of like deal with it and transmute it there's like a feeling of that so you're waking up and you're remembering conflicts you're waking up and you're remembering like a pause inside you're waking up and you're, you're remembering these things because it's something that you're teaching a group of souls right now that's something that i'm that i'm kind of being told um I just, I need to, everything that I'm sharing, it's like, oh, it's not enough. I want to go deeper. I want, I want to know more. I want to know more. So let's keep pulling. Pile number four, please. Because have you noticed the emphasis isn't so much on the dreams? It's, it's because your dream state, it's like, I don't feel your dream state necessarily is very vital in this lifetime, or at least in this period of your life, only because I feel like, you're very clued up in, in the spirit world anyway. You're very clued up with the higher realms anyway. You're able to get guidance without having to go here, there and everywhere. You're able to do that. Are you entering a time where you're able to do that? So where spirit would normally bring these messages and pass on these messages to you. It doesn't happen as frequently currently because there's no need because you're downloading the answers in your waking life. So your dreams, it's more so you're reviewing your Akashic Records. Or you're witnessing other souls in other incarnations or maybe on other worlds 
um, or parallel timelines. You're witnessing and guiding other souls like that because um, that's what you set out to do anyway. You are that guide. You may even be the spirit guide of certain friends and family members and relationships maybe that aren't even in your life anymore. So then you're having dreams waking up and it's like, why was I just witnessing an argument with my ex and his current girlfriend? I didn't even know he was in a new relationship. But it's because you were witnessing it as a guide. Very interesting. Very interesting. If you can't get someone out of your mind right now, you may be their spirit guide. I feel like you're someone's spirit guide that you may have been thinking of a lot. So there's this feeling on a hearty level with you picking the green of entry and you're waking up and you're like, oh my God, I miss this person or this person's going through it. I can already emotionally feel it and I want to be there for them. But it's because you're taking on the traits of your higher self that's acting out as a spirit guide who's there helping them heal their heart chakra. So you're remembering it when you're waking up and you're like, I want to be there for this person. I want to be there for this person. That's something that's coming through as well. But you're learning to balance out. This is me in the other realms. Like this is me in the physical realm. I need to be focused on me in this in, in the physical realm. Like there's a feeling of that coming through. It's hard for you not to get attached to the people that you've had strong relationships with. Because I do feel that in some ways you do act as a guide to them. Are you assigned as a guide to them? Are you assigned yourself as a guide to them? So interesting. I don't want to get deep. Very interesting. Pile number four. Pile four. What is pile number four's dreams trying to tell them? The goose. Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continue in your striving. Why have we got the goose here? What does that mean? Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continue. Sometimes you don't even feel like you've had a night's sleep. Sometimes you're waking up and you're like, okay, but I didn't sleep though. <laughs> like I can remember everything. It's like you're on all the time. So obviously energy doesn't like rest in that sense obviously it can go passive and then it can you know build up again like there's momentums to it but I feel like when life's heating up in the physical world I feel like life is also heating up in like the astral realm so you're really really busy but then when life's really peaceful and slow in the physical world time is really slow and life is really slow in the other realms too <laughs> it it's kind of goes in waves like that so you're either like feeling like you've had no sleep or you know your dreams of being chaotic and your life is also chaotic or it's like your dreams are nice and calm and you feel like you've been rested and also life's going quite smooth and you kind of go between the two sort of thing um that's something that i'm being told yeah let's pull more very interesting i'm so intrigued by this i love these readings powerful what um what are pal number four's dreams trying to tell them what have we got the sacred waters, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, and self-care. Okay, what? Because we have rest here, rest and recuperate. The sacred water. Yeah, I feel... You're such a... Um... You're such a helper, you're such a giver as a soul anyway, that I feel like you need to remind yourself a lot to rest because you have such a beautiful heart with this green, green adventure. And I feel like you always want to be on. You always feel like you're not doing enough because the whole point of your soul's incarnation is to help people. So when you take time out for yourself to just enjoy life, even on a soul level, sometimes you're feeling like, oh my God, I, I need to help this person. I need to do this. I need to do that. And like, there's this essence from your higher self, like slow down like even when we're not doing a lot in the physical we're doing a ton in the other realms so my energy is still going around the block so let's just like calm down like rest when we need to take a breather when we need to because we're still aligned with our mission even when we're chilling out and by chilling out and topping up our energy it's fuel for when life things up again don't fight the current there's an energy like that um because sometimes you may be waking up so tired, like I haven't slept and spirits, like if you feel like that, chill out in the day. Because that means you are really up to a lot um, in the other realms when you were sleeping. 100%. Um, and as well, there's also this feeling like 
yes you are a guide to many and yes you guide many but that doesn't mean that people are entitled to your energy and need to pull on you all the time because you're not just a guide and a healer and people aren't supposed to just take a cup and fill up the, their cup with your fountain like you are supposed to nourish yourself and heal yourself and has have fun in this incarnation too you are supposed to do that so don't allow your only role of life ever to just be a guide because you're more than that you are multi-dimensional you can guide people but also pull back sometimes you can guide people and also take time to yourself sometimes um you're guiding in the higher realms anyway you don't need to be so much of a guide in the physical realm specifically in your personal relationships if people are leaning on you like that it's not fair because you're already doing a lot for them in the higher realms and even they're getting the distorted like higher realms physical realms like even they're getting distorted and run into you in the physical and it's like you're already doing so much don't allow your inner circle to lean on you like that like you need to have boundaries with them because they're not supposed to be around you just because you do for them or just because you're a guide to them like they are supposed to be around you because they enjoy being around you and they want experiences with you so remember when there's a a line to be had is what I'm being told. Um, mornings for you need to be spent in tranquility. Mornings for you, when you wake up, there's been so much going on in the other realms, you need to like be in a state of receiving and balancing out your energy. Try not to be around people in the morning that are very loud. Try not to be rushing around in the morning. Try and spend some time on your own and just be in that state of bliss even for like an hour or make sure maybe if you can't do that just make sure you're meditating for at least 10 minutes when you wake up don't be going on your phone and scrolling it really can mess with your energies i'm being told um i personally like to wake up really early like five-ish and stuff like that um where it's like completely dark no one's awake and it's just silent so i've had like an hour or two of just chilling out to come into my being before I do anything else. I don't like to speak. <laughs> I just like to be in that state of just calm. And there's an energy for you guys to do that. Because I feel like it would aid you. Pal. Look at all that help. Like you help people a lot. It's because of all of this wisdom. With the Empress card here. It's because of all of this wisdom that you've, you've attained. That you have within you. You know. There's this energy of your soul. Like watch and learn. Pal. Oh my god, your cards leaping out of my hands. Pile four, please, spirit guys. What are their dreams trying to tell them? I never know how to say that. The manatee. It's time to let go and move on. What's holding you back? Yeah, you may be having a dream at this at this present moment of like someone from your past it could be f like a family member that you did a lot for and there's this feeling of i should have done more i wish it could have been different but the reason you're dreaming of them is because your spirit your, your higher self is their spirit guide or helping them heal and you're when you're waking up in the morning you're picking up on that energy of of the love that you were sending to them in the higher realms and it's like you're wanting to kind of like imitate it in the physical realm or feeling like sorrow in the physical realm and i'm being told when you do that and you wake up make sure you, sure you have a psychic shower stand it under the shower and just allow the water to like cleanse you because i feel like that would really help because sometimes you pick up because you're so close to the higher realms anyway in this incarnation you pick up a lot of what's going on in the higher realms anyway um and it's funny we have slow down at the back of the deck as well which was like the energy here of re replenishment and rest um yeah i feel like you you, you do a lot your soul's a busy busy bee that's probably why we're here in circus there's so much going on juggling you know i feel like your dreams don't so much tell you anything it's just your soul remembering them sometimes you'll have visitation from spirit if it's really needed but only when it's really needed because you kind of have mastered that element that your dreams aren't specifically saying do this do that like it, it's not like that it's it's you're witnessing a lot you're almost in a passive state while you're while you're sleeping and, and witnessing um i haven't been shown the matrix when um oh what's his name is his name morpheus he takes neo into um like a playground of the matrix and he's like helping him maneuver through it and there's a girl with a red dress and stuff like that um there's like there's like a feeling of that like you showing souls like your morpheus <laughs> and that's how it's coming through um 
interesting. This is so interesting. Powerful. I love these, you know. It's like my element for me. Cultivate creativity. We have the ocean oracle. Cultivate creativity. You're helping souls manifest in the physical realm. You're helping souls maneuver through the physical realm. Because we have consumed consciously as well. It's like helping them master the physical realm is what you're doing. Cultivate creativity. I do feel you get downloads from the higher realms in dream state, but they're telling me it's no different to when you're just sitting in your room and getting downloads anyway. I feel like you're always getting downloads. So that's why they're not putting too much emphasis on when you dream, because also when you're awake, you're dwelling between the realms and getting the same information that you would get or most people would get in their dreams. You're just receiving it genuinely, you know, genuinely. Um, so a lot of your dreams is kind of reserved for like the rest and then the, you know, the um, reviewing of the other souls and um, your own Akashic records and filtering through it. And then your dreams are then a byproduct of it. Um yeah oh my god powerful that was really interesting really really interesting so i hope i brought you clarity with this reading and i hope it made sense i hope it made sense for you um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did if, if it did resonate for you um and yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching